Welcome to the insane second half of Punch Club 2. This is everything, including the ending, all the way up to the credits rolling. I'll be going down the path of becoming a policeman, of opening my own gym, and becoming a master, helping the pupils out. And this is an edited playthrough, down from like 15 to 20 hours, down to just the story stuff and other fun bits and me talking to you. So, should be a nice video, even though I know it's a really long one. Some of you enjoy those. If you do, please do hit the like and subscribe for more. Let me know in a comment that you want to see more long gaming playthroughs on the channel and enjoy the rest of Punch Club 2. All right, welcome to part two of Punch Club 2. Thank you so much for all the comments and the love on the first part of this and asking for another part of this playthrough. So here we are. We've taken over the gym. My stuff is here. I live here now. I think I can sleep in here on the sofa. Look at that. I have my own place, finally. But wait, what's this? Entertainment? I've got an arcade machine. I can cook here. Wow, I literally am living here. That is so cool. And we've moved my gym equipment here and we're gonna start training. So that's just perfect. This also means I can eat whenever I want and I don't have to worry about giving my mom sleeping pills so that I can eat. Bam, there we go. Let's go to work and earn some money. So things are moving. <gasps> I have a punching ball. I don't think I bought this. This is just here in the gym. And that does the blue one. Super cool. Okay. So, let's take a look. A quick catch up of what we have to do. We're in the next league now with the old Vince McMahon lookalikes. We're waiting for our first fight. We are going to start training people at our gym. We can study the laws of the police if you want to go down the police officer line. We've got a slime punching thing here. Have I maxed out the mafia? I think I have. I am the best at bending. The best bender, apparently. So. Okay, it's time for our first fight of the new league. Going up against Goro Majima. Which I'm pretty sure is from the Yakuza games, right? I played a bunch of Yakuza Zero. Majima, I think. So look at this new venue. We're in like a proper ring now. There's lights. There's a TV camera. Okay, I threw out some big kicks there. I've still got some points left for that. My energy is slightly low. I'm going to drop the block and drop the energy reduction and see how that balances out. I need to land those really and not get kicked in the head. Oh my god, my energy is so low. Careful. Just come on, one more. He's got 16 health here. Oh my gosh. All right, just go for it, dude. Hit him. Yes. Great. Get that adrenaline. I'm signing up for the next fight. You've received your first league challenge, buddy. Now you feel respected, right? Let's check who was brave enough to mess with you. <gasps> I get $129 if I fight him? That is good. Finally, we're going to get some money. Okay, fight. Let's do it. He wants a rematch. He's going to pay me for the privilege. Just clinging to the edge there. Side sleeper. If you sleep on your front, you're crazy, by the way. That's how it works. I don't make the rules. Those are just the facts. If you're a tummy sleeper, you need help. Let's um work out. We used, so we used all of my red points here, my power points for those big kicks. So we're working. I'm teaching a lesson. I'm a teacher now. Let's try out the good old equipment. Okay, I'm just showing off how to train. Oh, I'm putting people on these. Ah, wow, cool. It's like I've got a gang. Ah, there's sweat in the air. Can you even smell it? Not exactly, but a real trainer doesn't smell with sweat with his nose. He feels it with his heart. Let's continue. Come over here. A little closer. Okay, three steps forward. Turn to the left. 
Three more steps. Final. Let's practice some basic moves. Sensei. Hi. Hi. Here. Not bad for a first timer. Thanks. Don't forget to focus on your own training. To teach, you have to master. Improve your fighting abilities. Training is complete when the minimum bar is filled. Hard work alone is not enough. You also need to talk to the students and maintain your reputation. Reputation with students. Talk to them. <laughs> Takes me back to judo as a child. For all the handful of lessons I went to. I spoke to them. That was a very quick conversation. This is your global training progress. Fills up as you perform training sessions. Link to your reputation. Good training. Good luck, kid. Oh, cool. Alright, guys. Well, you know, let's start off with a little chat. Hi, how's it going? What do you want to do martial arts for? You're being bullied. That's terrible. Right, let's get to it. Come on, everyone. On your feet. Work it out. Work it out. Now, I'm getting hungry, so let's practice some moves. Oh, I'm too hungry for moves. Am I too hungry to talk to you? No. Uh, a little bit, yeah. Damn it. I'll be right back. Hold on. Hold on, gang. We break for lunch. Trainer, we are ready. Okay. I was aware of that. Thank you very much. Let's have a conversation and get that up to 100. Now, get down and give me 20. I don't want to hear any complaints. All I want to hear is grunting and the dripping of sweat. Hashtag no context. Don't take that in any other way other than we're in the gym. Right. I'm hungry again? Man, this is hard work. Let's talk some more. <laughs> Training is over. Hey, you finished your first training session. Not the best results, but that's okay for the first time. Training fee's been transferred. I get paid? We've got another training session in two days. Thanks, Mick. Thank you. Helping some kids may seem like a small step, but believe me, sometimes a little goes a long way. That's really cute. I like how this chapter feels different already. We're training whilst also doing the working stuff, but we're earning more money doing this. It's really cool. Because if you were doing the same thing, it could feel really samey. We've already done that loop a bunch. It took me about, honestly, like somewhere between five to seven hours to get through that first chapter with the training that I was doing and working. So, it giving you this kind of training vibe and changing it up is very cool. Oh my god, I have so much money. Look at that. Full fridge, baby. Let's eat. Okay. Let's do a little work. Oh, I've got to pump my red points back up. So we can do those kicks, because that's really what's winning us fights at the moment. I should probably look at my upgrades for moves as well, because I haven't done that in a while. There you go, work that up, work that up. Let's get the blue close to the next level there. Got it. Now we pump the power. Feel. Burr. Burn. Working out makes you hungry. Let's see about moves. On the path of the lazy bear. Ah, I need to be 15 power to unlock the next set of moves. Okay. Do, 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 do. Do I have any more moves that I wanted to unlock in here? 
Maybe I should get this one. Breakthrough. Drop guard and crowd the enemy. Increase damage received. Opponent loses one initiative point. I mean, it's right there as the final move for power parts. So maybe I should just unlock that so I have it. Still don't particularly feel like an expert in the fighting section. And let's get this maxed out. Oh, you're all done. Okay. I need some sleep. Get in stronger. Sleep it up. Da da da. I like the soundtrack. Seat. Okay, that got us through today. How many points can I have here? Goodness me. Tired on that one. 14. Good. Now we're full. And now we're earning power again. Let's not do too much. I want to make sure I can do a day of work. We need to get some money and pass a bit of time. Play a little bit of games. We'll get to work for eight. Oh my god, food goes down so quick while you're playing a game. Okay, that'll get us to work. Getting close to the promotion in here. Bah, bah. Punch those slimes. Come on, get one more shift. You're too hungry. Okay. Let's fix that. Can't punch slime on an empty stomach. Looks like we're about to have a training session soon. <gasps> Fight available now. I don't know if I should do that on an empty stomach. Let me eat. Okay. My second fight, a rematch with Majima. Let's do the breakthrough and see how that affects things. And do you know what? I'm not going to burn through all of my points here. I'm going to mix it up with a side punch and an uppercut and a rest phase. Okay, and we'll see how that goes. I did just do overwhelming kicks constantly last time. Maybe I should have had a block in here, but we'll see. Pretty good first round, to be honest with you. Carry on. Actually in better shape than we were in the first fight. So that little bit of balance has helped, I think. Um, save that move for now and finish him off. Just watch your energy. Nice. Maybe that breakthrough move does make a huge difference. We barely took any damage there. A little bit of sleep. Don't eat a meal just yet. And let's see if we've got any red points to replenish. And a couple much better. Okay, sign up for the next fight now. So we can challenge... Ah, we can challenge who we want. Well, let's challenge the guy right above us. 63 to fight. Hmm. I want to make sure I'm not too hungry when training comes around. What time is it? It is 2.30 in the morning. A little bit of work. Get three hours of work in. Hello, Grishka. Oh, I still have a promote. Oh, no, bonus. Sorry. It's not a promotion. There we go. One shift, and then let's get home for training. Nice. Trainer, we are ready. 
Alright gang, let's begin with a little chit chat. Actually we're at 100. Scrap that. Straight to the moves. Come on then. I'm going to teach you how to kick someone in ribs. Uh, like that. Yeah. Say, what's that over there? Uh, look out, there's a seagull. Uh, in the ribs. Spin kick. Uh, uh. <laughs> Wonderful. Punch break. Nom nom nom. We are ready. Alright. Get on training equipment. Keep it going, keep it going. Give me everything you got in three, two, one, break. Some more mo Some more time? No time. Just chit chat now. Until the end of training. How did it go for you? Great. Let's do a little bit more full work. 30 minutes of pump. $200 for that training. Awesome. It's hard work, but it pays well. My food's gone. Let's sleep. And then we'll have another work day. And we should get that slime promotion. And see what happens next. Wow. I get my energy back so fast in that thing. Hmm. Guess I'll go do some different work. The Robo Factory, because I get strength too. Which of these jobs would you rather do if you had to? Serve noodles, bend iron in here, or punch slime? If you had to choose one thing to do for a living. With the punching slime, you'd get really fit. You know, but it'd be really hard work. You'd be sore, you'd stink of slime, it's messy. You're all slimy. Bending the girders, you've got equipment to do it with, but it looks like it's really hot in there, you know? Hard graft, and you're not getting too much stronger. You're still using some of your strength, but I feel like punching slimes is probably much better for you. Serving noodles, free noodles, you know, big plus, but hot in a kitchen, stressful. So, depends really what you want to do, doesn't it? I'd probably choose the punching slime. I don't know, a bit gross. They all suck, let's be honest. Okay, two days till next training session, and 16 hours till our next fight. Let's work out just for ourselves a little bit. See if we can't get up to 15 and start unlocking those next moves. I feel like we're going to need them for League 2. If we get up to 15, we can unlock new powers and knock Paper's blocks off. It feels like the training is paying us enough that if we want to, we can ditch work and you can just train now. So it really has changed up the gameplay loop a little bit. Okay, too hungry. Because I just bought so much food. Okay, four hours till the fight. I think we can do this. I definitely feel less time pressure than I did in the first one. The first one was really, like, I felt more pressured. Okay, a universal fighting move. Great for diverting the enemy's defenses with a jab. Destroy the knee or attack modifier. Reduce their chances of a block by 10%. Jab goes into a fly catcher. Focused on countering dodges, pinning the opponent to the ropes. A smasher, fighting style ideal for long battles against a well defended enemy. Fly catcher sounds cooler, so let's go with a jab. And destroy the knees. We'll see how those work out in our next fight, shall we? Okay, an hour till fight time. So let's rest, be full energy, get some kip. Max that out, and it's fight time. 
Let's have a good match. Hmm, weird. Every time I say that before a fight, it goes south. I'm expecting a good old-fashioned rumble, kid. Wait, Silver, is that you? Who are you talking about? I'm a professional fighter. The name is Gold. Skip the pleasantries. Let's get fighting. It's the leader of the previous league. All right, let's throw our new moves in. Open up with a knee destroyer. Actually, a jab. That makes sense. Jab, destroy the knee, rest, and then spin kick. He's blocking, so we will use penetrating attacks, and I'll put break rhythm in and see how we go. I got some new moves, Sensei. Um, let's drop out the special move and follow up with a just throw a side punch in. Since we seem to be doing pretty good damage. Taking some hits. Our energy's good. Yes, there we go. Come on, Silver. I know it was you right away. What are you doing here? You've got your whole own league. It's just not the same without you. I miss you, kid. Really? You should visit me sometime. A little friendly sparring. Share a couple stories. What do you say? Let's do it. Hey, <laughs> congratulations. Today, the world's future champion took his first step. Thanks, you sound a lot like my trainer. I only got one voice like this. Huh? I know you're too young for a proper celebration. Let's celebrate with some donuts. Dorothy, sweetie, could you please order us some donuts? You like Donuts. Right. Somebody just jumped out of a window back there. Um, I... The donuts have been ordered and are waiting for you at a poo shop. Great. Could you go get them? The delivery service in the city is a little unreliable. We'd starve before the donuts got anywhere near our mouths. Sure. Sure, Vince. Uh, 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 uh. Stone cold. <laughs> Used to love wrestling. I still, I still enjoy wrestling. Catch up on it every so often, to be honest. A little confession, a little guilty pleasure. It's good fun. Honestly, I think most people who are into like dramatics or like theater kids also have a bit of a soft spot for wrestling because it's just so kind of theatrical and it's like sto the storytelling side of it. You know, it's fun. Hello, my friend. What can I do for you? I came to pick up an order from Barry. One box of donuts coming right up. Not so fast, you treacherous claim jumper. What? This man's been participating in illicit delivery activities all over the city. I've literally only been doing them because everybody hates your services. That is a serious accusation. There's more where that came from. I'd like to speak to your manager. He did not just say that. You want to speak to the manager, huh? You'll have to speak to my fists first. We're about to fight Death Stranding. Ah, he just gets a free show here. Free fight. I'll have you know I'm a professional fighter, sir. And you're just a delivery boy. Let me deliver these fists to your face. Uh, return to sender. Eh, eh. Wait, I've just realized, I think my moves that I've been using are also 
using special points. I think the knee destroyer. Is also. Yeah, it is. Both of those do. Wow, that's why I only have two left. That's why I was so good in that last fight. So, really, I want to be side punching and uppercutting when I'm not trying to spend those points. Good to know. Where can I find him? The tower. Third floor on the right. And what about the donuts? Take them. They're still warm and it's your... Finally, donuts. It's my what? So, you are taking the donuts delivery. Yeah, but it's not about the donuts. It's about justice. Okay. The tower. New area. Nasty place, but I'm not here for the view. Where do I find this delivery service manager? Probably that elevator. Yeah, but who's this? Guy in high end shirt? Looks like Benicio del Toro. Bunch of punks over here. Trying to spy the references. <laughs> Delivery service manager? Yes, and you are. A dissatisfied customer. Is this Kojima? Ah, are you talking about that silly old videotape? No, I'm talking about your horrible service. How did you get this address again? Your delivery boy spilled the beans. You know, the jerk. Who cares more about some grudge he has against me than he cares about doing his job? My son can seem difficult at first, but... Your son? Yes, he's... Is that the only reason he works here? Hmm? Is he careful with the packages? Then you should let him go. Where would he... Listen, for most of my life, my mother wouldn't even let me step foot into the city. I've been more scared than anybody of simply entering a shop. But look at me now. I'm a champion in a fighting league. Introverts be like... I'm a sports trainer. And if you give your son a chance, even he could become a good person. I'll have the spiced pumpkin loaf. Your complaint will be considered. And by the way, the law about illicit delivery activities? Illicit delivery? Right, of course. Total baloney. You mentioned an old videotape. What's on it? No idea. Some movie. Three years ago. Still haven't gotten around to it. Would you like to take the delivery? Maybe. A hundred dollars. I'll take it. A new tape. Let's go watch a movie. Why can't I speak to this guy? A movie with Henry. What's it gonna be? Henry, I found a tape. Cool, wanna check it out? Yeah. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Let's have a look. Let's have a butcher's. Universal courier. Like Universal Soldier? Yeah, but couriers. After a few American soldiers are killed in Vietnam, the government develops a secret project which revives them and turns them into Universal Couriers. The perfect machines for performing special deliveries. Slime sandwich restores more. Increased work efficiency. Tonus fills up faster. What if they take delivery guys and turn them into these super couriers after they die? Created with only purpose to deliver and deliver and deliver. If so, I know a guy who would do well to, like, kill him and upgrade a bit. So let's see these new powers, because those sound useful in old school. Where is it? There it is, right at the end, a secret one. Tonus fills up faster I could use. Work efficiency can always use. Slime sandwich restores more. I mean, I'll grab it. 
I don't think we eat many slime sandwiches. Okay, nine hours till training. Let's see what Sylv- oh no, the gym is closed. Let's do a bit of work. Oh, that's not work. Hang on. Click the bridge. Um, um, try and get that bonus. Ooh, sign in for the next fight. Let's fight Boris the Blade, shall we? Oh, I can't afford it. Hang on. Let's see if someone challenges us. Now I can afford it. Right, signing in. Now oh, they take the money straight away. Oh, it's time to train in the gym. Stop for food on the way back. I guess I'll try these sandwiches now. They do almost as much as a slime lunch for five dollars less. So. Sorry I'm late guys. Busy, uh, busy, busy, busy thing. Let me have a little snack real quick. And have some coffee and I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm here for you. I'm, I'm here. I'm your trainer. Let's have a little chat. Wonderful. Now get to work. Coming along great. Great form. Well done everyone. Feel that burn. You hit the wall. Just go harder, okay? Let's train the spin kick. My favorite move. It's won me many fights. There you go. A bit more training. Good job, good job. Let's have a chat. Talking makes me hungry. Break for dinner? Although it's quite late. So I'll just have a quick snack. We have half an hour left. Let's um, get a few more pumps in. There you go, gang. One more. Get over this line. Damn. Good training session. Hi, Mick. What kind of example are you setting for the guys, huh? Every time you walk into the gym, they look at you. What are they seeing? They see their coach messing around. You're a role model now, coach. In case you forgot, let me repeat it. Improve your fighting abilities and work out a lot. Watch that progress bar. I'm trying. I thought it was a good session. Wait, do I fill this up when I'm away as well? I'm trying my best, dude. There you are. I got something for you. What is it, Mick? I found a few old videotapes. I suspect one of them might be my stag party. I didn't know you were married, Mick. I wasn't. I just tricked my friends into throwing a party. I gotta say, it was a legendary night. Casey was there along with the rest of the punch club, including your grandfather. What a wild night. There were tutorials on how to party that have a whole chapter on us. Mick, I can't wait to see this. But... What? None of the tapes have labels. I don't know which one is which. I'll give you one tape at a time. Go through them. I'm in. Instead of giving you all the tapes, I can give you one at a time. I guess I go watch them with Henry. Man, I used so many points in that last fight. I gotta get those special moves back up. Oh. Hey. 
take time. Here's the tape. What could it be? Mystery tape. Exciting. Mystery movie. Herbivorous. <laughs> Is that like... Wait, herbivorous, like predator? A dangerous jungle. Badass mercenaries and a herbivore. With these words, the nightmare begins in Central America. A fantastic action movie starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. Know how to take care of yourself. Less heart consumed after a fight. Cooking kit restores more health. Um, increased movement speed around the city. If it bleeds, we can kill it. Nice. I would like to unlock movement speed around the city. I think that's useful. <laughs> it's get to the chopper. Nice. Do you know what I would like, actually? The ability to change my outfit. Ah, we do that at two o'clock. Changing my outfit would be good. In the meantime, let me just finish my shift. Let me choose some clothes. Wait, when does it open? Oh, 7 p.m. Dum dum ba dum. Bum ba ba bum. Perfect. This is a restricted area, son. State your business. I have a present for you on behalf of Bobo and Sons. A present, you see? Yes, to thank you for your service. Let's see. Though lunch was truly scrumptious, it could not fill the void in the officer's soul. <laughs> what? Give my best to Bobo. Actually, he only has... Ah! This power. This raw power. I think I know where this is going. We're fighting. Okay, I'm not going to use my special attacks. What are you doing? Breakthrough, breakthrough. Drop guard, crowd the enemy. Okay, so I don't need to use those. I will also use breakthrough three times. Just to match you and see what happens. Okay, a little bit even. My energy's low. What happens if I only have one breakthrough? Let me see how that round goes. Is there, do I even need three equipped? Still seems to go pretty well. Oof. Oof. Oh, it's close. Throw in a special move just to finish the job here. idea what got into me, but thanks for snapping me out of it, kid. Okay. Promotion earned. There we go. My fridge is so full. I never have to worry about food for a little bit. Perfect. We can focus on working out and training and getting stuff going. A little bit of sleep. Eat and eat and a little bit of sleep. Rinse and repeat. How long till the fight? 13 hours. And I'm kind of beaten up a little bit. Um, get a bit more sleep. Then when the gym opens, we'll go get the robot to heal us. Rather than stay in bed all day. Doesn't open till six, so do a little bit of a workout. Can always use more stem. Now, gym time, real quick. Eight hours.
was still the fight. I don't want to talk to you just yet. I need to go in here. Talk to feel good. Make me feel good. Full health, please. Perfect. Maybe now I can talk to you. Let's see what Silver wanted. Hello, Silver. Hi, champ. I've been hoping you'd stop by. How's work going? I'm at mixed gym now. Working with young fighters. Like you once did for me. Glad to hear it, kid. And how's... Um... Wanna fight? Sure. Let's get started. You got a mech? Okay, I don't want to use my... Specials. Open with an uppercut. Follow up with a side punch, Sherlock style. And then... Oh yeah, I forgot I have a double inhale for restoring energy. Kick to the ribs, and middle, a double inhale. And break through. so fun. I can see how people get addicted to training this kind of thing. Probably feels so cool once you get good at it. So? I should go. Wait. I wanted to ask you. Yeah. Um... Want to fight again? This is ridiculous. Why did you even ask me to come here? Gold. Someone named Gold did that. Whatever. We got nothing to talk about. I'm out of here. Your dad. You asked me about him way back. Want to hear a few stories about me and your old man? I'm listening. There were two things he was obsessed with. Jewelry and pets. Jewelry? Seriously? He gave me a thrashing one time after I gave some medallion to a local mafioso. Why did you do that? For a debt, of course. It's not like we were on each other's Christmas lists. But for some reason, that thing was really important to your father. Interesting. Anything else? He loved animals a lot too. Really? Sure, he had a cat named Fuzzy or whatever. He was so sad when the cat disappeared. Fuzzy was a bit of an idiot, apparently. Fell out of a window or something. He came to me all in tears, sobbing all over me and kept saying, I let him go, Silver. Every time I close my eyes, I see him begging, desperately pleading. Meow, meow, meow. Well, thanks, Silver. I think I have to go. <laughs> Great talk. Come back soon. Jesus. Alright. It's fight day and training day, so we should make sure we're in good shape for it. Food and rest. Meow. Meow. I'm like maxed out right now. Just got a little bit of a pump. Pass the time slightly. And let's go. What is the blade from Snatch? The movie. You're gonna be doing a lot of dodging, so we're gonna be doing some fainting. You're going to be reducing the chances of successful blocks. I'm not going to block. I'm just going to break through. And I'm going to stick with what I used in the last fight. And we'll introduce some special moves as and when we need to. I feel like you're going to be a little bit harder. Let's find out what happens here. Okay. It's about evens. But you hit pretty bloody hard, actually. 
So I'm going to mix this up with the jab and the knee destroyer. I'd rather train heavy afterwards and recoup that stuff than lose the fight. Oof, I don't hit you too much, do I? And when you hit me, it really drags my life down. Okay, your energy is kind of spent. So I'm going to switch the kick to the ribs for a spin kick to the body. It's going to use all my points, but... I need to break you down a little bit. There we go. Okay, we've got plenty of energy, so we drop out the double breath, but we've got no special points left, so... Uppercut into a side punch. Into a kick to the ribs, which is a special move for that. And the heavy hook. Break through, break through, break through. Break rhythm. Big round to finish. Come on. Get him. Got the energy. Let's go. Sorry, sir. The donuts are a bit stale now, but... What's that? Ah, right. The donuts. You can keep them. And what about our celebration? Too late. Already celebrated. Congratulations, etc. And so forth. Oh, okay. <laughs> Makes sense, I guess. Bye. Wait, what do the donuts do? Every cop's favorite. Maybe take him to the police station? Hmm. Guess I'll study the laws a bit more whilst I'm here. day till a fight. Probably gonna need those donuts for something. The finish line is nearly in sight. I'd have crossed it by now if he didn't repeat every single... When conflict arises, the policeman states his verdict and protects it with his fists. But sometimes, even a policeman's might is not enough. Mm -hmm. It's time for a detective to jump into the fray. Detectives are the strongest people in police. They get the most dangerous cases. Of course, they're well compensated. Mm, they are true heroes. Detectives. Justice. I was sleeping. What? How did I get back here? I guess it was too boring. Back home. Mum, why don't you care that I've moved out? You haven't said anything to me. I like the lollipops you bought me. Okay. Whatever, Mum. Since I have the money, let's do a little cheat on the old training with the warm up and some power. Time straight through to get all my points back. Nice. What's in my pocket? Do I have any food? Eat those sandwiches. And let's do one of these. Let's do breath training. Actually, bear fight. I want to be super strong. <gasps> fight! Oh my god, did he run out of fight time there? Okay. <gasps> my energy is so low! <sighs> and I only have two hours till the fight. I'm in big trouble. Wait, do you sell coffee? I need energy drinks and I can only afford two. Please give me... Oh, halfway. Oh, poor me. Oh. Wah, 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 wah. Um. <clears throat> what? Are you crying?
thing under there? It's me. No. But I just heard. <gasps> what would you do in my place, huh? What would you do if someone stole your psp? First, I'd probably Google what it was. Without the psp, I'll never be able to get this baby in top condition. It even gets worse. Huh? In the hands of a capable villain, a psp can do terrible things. Well, if you think about it, it's not so bad, assuming the villain is human. Why? He wouldn't be able to use the psp to its full potential. The main thing is it should never fall into the hands of, say, some evil robot who wants to destroy all humanity. Tell me it's not. I need to go check something. <laughs> Recover the psp from Rusty over in the robot place, but I need to do the fight first. Thank God that I did a fight with Boris and didn't try to level up to the next place because I went into here unprepared and with half my energy. Okay. Uppercut, side punch, rest. And then a... Throw a heavy uppercut in. Actually, no. Throw in a another side punch. You're going to be dodging, so I'm going to be fainting. Break rhythm, breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough. Let's see how that goes. I'm going to need to watch my energy here. Wow, you're just dodging everything, aren't you? One more. Okay. I don't want to lose this fight, so we're going to turn it up with the knee destroyer and a spin kick. And let's take double breaths. And drop these, because you aren't throwing very much. Let's see how we do. You're actually winning, so... Okay. Okay! Jab and Knee Destroyer. Follow up. And then rest. Mm -hmm. Heavy uppercut. Oh, I don't know what else to do, really. So low on energy. Come on, champ. Come on, champ. Bust that knee. Alright, good job. Drop these ones out, because I don't want to... Do a heavy uppercut. Just all heavy uppercuts. Use the green. Don't want to give myself too much red to replenish. Yes. Yes. Hit him! Nice. That was close. Okay. I am going to need to rest. Before I go fight this robot. I like the soundtrack. Oh, sign in for the next fight. Let's fight Rorschach. Time. Now let's go see if the robot has this pspta. Pspta. We got the pspta. Ps, ps, ps. There's really only three things I want: kill all humans, kill all humans, and kill all humans. <laughs> oh, you again! This time you can't stop me. With the power of the Pispita, I am a deadly threat to you and all mankind. <laughs> Soon you will be on your knees kissing my squeaky, scabrous, polyurethane, bulletproof, waterproof coated. I never thought someone could love his butt so much. Smooch hungry butt. <laughs> smooch hungry. A smooch hungry butt 
Put that on your dating app bio. All right, human, grab your dookie. It's time to get spooky. <laughs> this robot's great. Can he be a companion? I want to be my friend. Okay, you're pretty easy, so I'm not going to waste points on you for special moves. We're just going to uppercut and side punch, double inhale, and another side punch. That should be okay. You're blocking, so we're penetrating. Should get through okay. I would have a droid in real life, honestly. Hello, Morph. Can I make you a sandwich? Although I kind of want them to sound like that. If they sounded like humans, it would be a bit scarier, honestly. Keep the kind of uncanny valley away from me. Defeated once again, you metal fiend. You're terminated, evil bot. Oh no, without the perspective, I'm just an old wreck again. It's worse than Windows 2000. <laughs> Self-hatred is the reward for spitefulness. You belong alone, evil creature. But I'll never say goodbye to my dream. One day I will kill all the hu- <laughs> Come and have him work in the gym, come on. No need to be mean to the lad. Ah, a little bit broke. Do some work. Training session in three hours, actually. Close to that bonus. One more. Might not quite make it. Back to the gym. All right, kids. Let's get gym in. We're going to have a conversation about our feelings and how it feels to be a man and fight. Let's go. Hey, uh, trainer, how come there's no girls in here? Well, probably because I keep calling you guys and men and stuff, dude. Okay. Let's kick. Let's make this a safe environment for all to come and join and fight. Ready. Let's have another combo. Keep it up at a hundred. Good job, everyone. And now Papa sleeps. Until fully recovered. Or not. Hello, this is the delivery manager. Remember me? I have a job for you if you're interested. Drop by our office in Town Hall. All the best. Okay, but I also need sleep. Sleep time. -ish. Okay. Snackaroonie. Let's go see what you want. You are in what? The town hall? Is that the tower? I remember where you are. Same place, maybe? How's the delivery going? Not great, to be honest. Especially considering I was left without my only employee. You fired your son? Not yet. I put him on an unscheduled leave and I'm planning the conversation. This is how it is with training too. The first thing is to get started. I was thinking... Yeah? Since you've so shown such a passion for deliveries, maybe you could work for us for a while. A new job opportunity? Sure. Great. These three packages can finally find their addresses. Deliver one to Silver, one for Apu, 
Welcome home for police officers. Got it. Sounds like the easiest job I've had. I call that a mission. Virtuous mission. Okay. Let's deliver some packages. <clears throat> is this some kind of joke? No idea. What is it? Shoes. Finest Italian leather, like the ad says. All the style, all the comfort. Sounds awesome. It is. Except I ordered these shoes 20 years ago, and now I don't have any feet to put them on. Yeah. Kind of a problem. What do delivery guys do in situations like this? Oh, I know. Have a nice day. And then the police. What? I ordered these donuts five years ago. Oh, they must have gone bad a long time ago. Indeed. Maybe they're even petrified. Yes. Totally unsuitable for eating. That's what I'm saying. So, should I throw them in the trash? Try it and get down. Leave those little naughties there. I'll take care of them. <laughs> the little naughties. Oh, don't call them that. Leave those naughty little donuts right there. Sorry? Um, and to Henry, didn't he say the other delivery was? No? Who was the other delivery? <gasps> Silver at the gym. That's right. Okay, they're closed. So let me just pop home and sleep. Mm -mm -mm. Since it's closer. Then I'll go from here straight to the gym. Wait, my energy's full. Okay. I can't work out here to pass time. Well. Just run down here and then run back up. Oh, I need, need to waste five minutes. Okay, should be open now. There we go. Here you go. Must be some mistake. I didn't order anything. Could have been a while ago. Like, years. No, you must be mistaken. I don't remember ordering anything like that. The heck's in there? Who knows? That package could belong to anyone. Yeah, anyone whose name begins with a sill and ends with a var. It seems like it's buzzing and vibrating. Looks like a big magic marker or a cucumber. A big one. The kind of cucumber that belongs in the Guinness Book of Records. Maybe a mutant cucumber. More like the boss of the mutant cucumbers. Right. Green giant monster. OMG. So... Oh, I know. A friend of mine, Gold, ordered something like this. I have no idea what it is. But you can leave it here. He'll swing by later. Thanks. Naughty. Um, okay. Deliveries delivered. Let's go tell the boss. <clears throat> What's this reference here? Silhouettes of a kid and a dog. I wonder. All packages delivered. Wow. What? I nearly forgot the, what those words sounded like. Thanks for the help. A license. Nice. Gives you the right to ride the bus anywhere around the city for free? Oh my god. Can I ask you a question? What was it between you and my son? He was always messing with me. 
to be honest. I don't really like him. He's a snake. I don't know. I like snakes. Really? Yeah, I have three snakes. Four if you count their father. Where are they now? Didn't work out so well. One time. Snakes! Metal Gear Solid. I get it, because it's Kojima. That took me a second. One killed her brother, slunked off somewhere. One died in a sword fight. This guy has some imagination. Deliveries got a lot better after I took my son off the job. At least the office stopped receiving threatening letters. But you know. Still worried about him? Don't be. Tell him, spread your wings and fly. I've heard that somewhere before. Cool. Is there anything else in here I can look at or click on? No. <clears throat> cool reference, though. Man, I can ride the bus for free? You, this is, like, um, this might be the best upgrade we've got so far. That's crazy. Oh, man. Zero to ride the bus and waste no time. Amazing. All for just one delivery mission. It's going to make my life so much easier. All right, it's time for our next fight. Fighting a Rorschach, as I believe it's pronounced. As some people say, Rorschach. Let's go with uppercuts. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to try. I just unlocked these new ones. We're going to open with an undercut. I'm going to try the path of the turtle and use our pedo here. No. Somba has more spots in it. Regeneration restores health at the beginning of the round. Reduce enemy chances of dodging. Reduce effectiveness of block. Okay. Well, they're blocking quite a bit, so let's do that. Undercut. Undercut. Kick to ribs. And... Double inhale. There's the double inhale. Wait, where is it? Double inhale. There it is. Um, blocking, so penetrating. I'll leave that on. Let's see what that does for us. Because my stamina just naturally seems to be higher than my other stats. So maybe I should use the green moves. That took so much of my health. Jesus. Okay. Um, I think maybe you need to change it up. Jab. Knee destroyer. Spin kick. Double inhale. Attack, attack, attack. Break rhythm. Use that energy you've got. You're going down, dude. Oh my god. We're going to need to block. He's heavy output of strikes. Yep. Oh, first loss in the league. Hey, champ. You've been making some progress. Now you can invite another student. You'll need some more gym equipment first. Oh. Yes, I forgot about buying that. Now that we're actually earning decent money, I should totally be buying some more equipment. I forgot that I could do that. Okay, sleep. <sighs> nice little sofa snooze. There's something relaxing about falling asleep on a sofa, isn't there? Falling asleep. You know when you're, like, falling asleep watching TV and the waves are just hitting you and you're trying to, like, sort of fight it and your eyes are getting heavier and heavier and then just that moment where it either just takes you or you just go, you know what, I'm just going to let it take me and you just drift off. That's, like, that is a powerful snooze right there. It really is. Oh, why am I walking when I have free bus tickets? <laughs> One idiot. Okay. Oh, let's get the wing. Oh, 300. Okay. Um, well, yeah. Well, the punching bag is effective. Let's have that. Dun, da, da, da. I wonder how effective this is, the pierogi, if you've got 50. Wait, because I've got 100. Grant's battle trance buff. Wait, I'm gonna try this for my next fight, maybe. A battle trance buff, because I have maxed out my mafia skills. Hmm. Hey, kid. Looks like you're settling into things as a trainer. How does it feel? 
I feel responsible. I'm wet in a boy. Remember one thing. You're not just a coach for these guys. You're a protector. A shepherd. Thanks to you, Mick. I doubt I'll ever forget. Still a lot of people on the streets who need help. One good guy from the ghetto got into some trouble. Managed to cross all the criminal gangs in the city at once. That takes talent. What did he do? Ask him yourself. They'll be trying to catch the guy tonight. Head over there after sunset. Don't take the long. Go to town ghetto at night and help a guy. Okay. Do I have time for food? Can't do it on an empty tum tum, can I? Let's see. The town ghetto. All these locations. So many locations. Damn, I'm too late. No, no, listen. First I'll beat him like a slime. No, no, listen. First I'll make him do harikiri. No, 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 listen. First, uh, wait, how are we supposed to beat him if you already made him harikiri? That would kill him, stupid. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. For me too. And me. What should we do? We can't kill the guy three times. I guess we can. Maybe rock, paper, scissors? <clears throat> How's it going? What? Can you tell we're busy? I wasn't talking to you. You right, pal? Yeah, stranger. Well, I mean... I was using these final moments before I die to get myself right. It's not happen happening today. You're coming with me. Over our dead bodies. Let's get to it. Well, I don't want to use my special points on these guys. Let's go back to somber style, but it's going to be a side punch. It's going to be an uppercut. It's going to be double inhale followed with a... Let's get one of the green moves in here. A shovel hook. There we go. Your blockings, we're penetrating, and let's begin. Who's this with a guitar? What's that? That seems familiar. This character here. I guess I'm gonna have to fight all three of you. Win. Who's next? Who do you think you are? Bring it. I think I'm the champion of the Silver League. Climbing up the Gold League. I think that's what it's called. What are you waiting for? Now! <laughs> Just gonna carry on. Seems like I have a pretty good combo here. This guy is definitely the hardest of the bunch. Keep it going. I wonder what the story is going to be with this person we're saving. Or if they're just going to be in our gym. Not much else going on. Job done. Wow, I beat all of them, man. That was awesome. 
Thanks. You can get on home now. Yeah, but... What? What should I do when they come back? I don't know Kung Fu like you. That wasn't... Whatever. I think I have an idea for you. Hey, Mick. The gangs won't touch that guy now. But there's something else. I want to learn Kung Fu from you, mister. I want to learn a bunch of moves and defeat evil and protect the poor and stuff. Kid, you can do all that. But I'm not the one to teach you. Huh? He will. Coach? Oh, great. Okay. See you at the next session, pal. Yay! I cannot just sit silent here. With great power comes... Mick, that's a very old movie. Everybody watched it. Huh? No getting through to your generation. Sonny, is that you? Who else would you expect? You called me, Mum. Sorry, I don't feel good. What happened? It's my headaches. They're back. The candies you brought me, they aren't helping. Yesterday I ate a whole bowl. I still couldn't sleep. Well. Ask a pool for something else. Like what? Tranks? Very funny, mister. Get over there and bring me something, you little brat. Sorry, sonny. <laughs> my head's exploding. Bye. Bye. I'm gonna get some drugs for mama. Stop walking, you have free bus pass now. Oh, that is a pity to hear. Maybe you have something else to help us sleep? Give me a minute. Here it is. Try these, earplugs. My brother Jai always uses them, he sleeps like a baby. I didn't know you had a brother. Very nice guy. Wouldn't hurt a mouse. Maybe I'll introduce you one day. How much do I owe you? Oh, come on. I don't care about the money. It's my duty to help the poor woman. It's not like a poo. Maybe he's not so selfish after all. Thanks. And he's walked again. Finally, give it to me. Maybe I can get some sleep. Earplugs. I guess if I was still living here, then I wouldn't need uh, to get the pills anymore. Maybe is the point of that. All right, here we go. Studying the laws. I think that might be the last one. Congratulations. Now you know all the laws of the city. Yeah, I know them twice. <laughs> The main thing you need to remember, the one with the most GPP is right. Read the book. Now you have everything you need to become a policeman, kid. You know the laws, you've reached the minimum GPP school. Come back tomorrow, I'll show you your new job. Do you think I'm ready? You're far more ready than I was in your age. I'm proud of you. Your grandpa would be proud too. I... Uh, thank you, Sergeant. You're welcome. Here's your bespitter. Hallelujah! You're my saviour! Me on the person of Jesus Christ! <laughs> Thanks! Did you tell me what that thing is? The Pusputa? It's all the science stuff, you know. It stands for uh, Portable Synchrophasitron. Okay. Now this baby can be cranked to the max! Hey Mikey, I know think Linky likes it. That mode. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Matrix reference. Yeah, Matrix reference, the game got me. How many more can there be? So you upgraded this? These new ones that are 50 bucks and they do loads. I need food. Let's see if I've got any munch in my pocket. That's enough. Let's do strength. The ultra modern way to become stronger. Rolling stones. Oh. They've loaded my brain. Oh. Uh, 
I feel like this is a quicker way to get my points back up. So I can do special moves. Let's go home. Hello, Sergeant. Your newest recruit is ready to protect and serve. You're just in time, son. Let me show you around. We're becoming a policeman. This is your workspace. Let's get you a uniform. This police cap will do. That's it? It's not a thinking cap, kid. It's a following orders cap. <laughs> nice. What's my first job? Rescue someone? You'll need to rescue this bad boy here from all the junk stored on it. Organize the files, update everything, delete the junk. You know the drill. But I can be so much more useful than that. Listen, kid, it's nothing personal, all right? In this line, first you do some serving, and after that you get the protecting part. Man. A desk job? I don't even see how much I have to do. Oh. Well done. Paperwork's only part of the job. I knew there was more to it than that. The second part is patrolling. Walking around in circles? Yep. If I see any law breaking, do I... Call it in and do nothing? Exactly. Oh, man. Get on with it. You'll soon see why they call it a beat. What am I... Patrolling? <gasps> Whoa! Patrol in the city streets. Well, look who's back from his first patrol. It's pointless. Boring. Literally nothing happened. Yes, the perfect job. But I was tracking you on our monitoring and control system just in case. It allows you to see, hear, and feel everything you do, or anyone with a GPP chip. What? Isn't that like a huge violation of privacy? That word lost all meaning when people started accepting browser cookies. Besides, only detectives can use it, and who else can you trust? Anyway, I'll show you the office. There's a vending machine if you get hungry. You can also socialize with your colleagues. Make new friends. More like boost your reputation and advance your career. Lastly, there's a gym upstairs. Your work's divided into shifts. One day a duty, two days off. Try to do as much as you can while on duty. That way you earn more money. Get ready. Best to eat and sleep in advance. When does my duty start? You'll start in a few days. I'll call you. You'll be on from 8 to 8. Thanks, Sergeant. Don't mention it. Man, I have a proper police job now. It's, um... Browser cookie stuff is crazy because they changed the laws, so that's why we have to, like, accept or reject cookies every time we go to a new website, right? But, m like, so many people, all it's done is it caused us to just accept more, and I'm sure websites have put more into that it's really protecting nothing because a lot of websites if you reject them they're like well we can't show you this content then so now you're just accepting that you're being tracked unless you can click into the settings and be like only necessary cookies but if you're browsing like people just don't have the time to do all of that or don't take the time i certainly don't i'm just like yeah 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 whatever like you want to get to the thing and then you've signed up for who knows what to be tracking you <laughs> it's terrible really and it all came about because of a law that was meant to be more transparent about it, but I'm pretty sure in the long run it's made us sign up for even more worse things. What's this one good for? Blue. No, it's also green. Which is the one that does two blues then? That does one. Oh, it's just because it's two shoes. I was thinking it was doing more because two shoes were coming out. I'm such an idiot sometimes, sorry. I guess you just have to see by how much it goes up, right? You know what? Jeez, Mick. Why do you scare me like that? A jewel fighter will never admit he is scared. Even if he crapped his pants? Even if he crapped his pants, kid. 
anyway. Another ghetto guy's in trouble. There's always some ghetto guy in trouble. Ghetto guys sounds like a sort of boy band. Hi, we're the ghetto guys. Maybe we should try and help every one of them. It's impossible. Right. That's the duty that falls upon the gifted and talented people of the world. To help every poor man they see. But not the fate of people with material wealth, but people with true power, like yourself. Fine. Where is the guy? He's trying to rob a poo shop. He's a good guy, kid. God damn it, Mick. Gotta go stop a robber now. I have no energy. Can I sleep first? I probably shouldn't. Just did a whole training session. Damn, late again. Oh, I'm not kidding. Oh, put your damn hands above your head. I understand you are nervous, but please pull yourself together. Are you, are you laughing at me? I'll smash everything in this whole place right now. You got it? Give me the damn money. <clears throat> oh, it's the worst day of my life. You'll damn, buy your damn bread and get out. I'm trying to rob this shop. Okay, sure. Thanks. Uh, but why do you need to do that? What? For the money? Are you kidding me? Can't you just uh, find a job or something? Stop your stupid positive thinking, man. You don't know anything about me. Are you sure? I know you're a good man in trouble. Look, life knocks us down, that's for sure. But it's our choice whether or not to stand back up. You mean... You don't have to rob a store when you're in need. It is better to ask for help and deal with the problems head on. Better than violence. Damn it, man. That's... That's so wise. Who are you, some kind of Buddha or something? Listen, you should stay on the right side. Help other people do it too. Especially since there's always going to be other people so deep into evil that they don't have a choice other than robbing. But you aren't like that, you... Hold it right there, you little stinkers. Yeah, this is a robbery. Damn it. <laughs> There's a fight after all. Time to teach these punks a lesson. Knock him into the seashells. And... Oh! One little health. Down you go. Good night. Good night. Stop dodging. Good night. Ow. Good night. There you go. Oh, you knocked yourself in. All right. That was my bouncing pack. The damage onto him. And another one. Let me put a double inhale at the end, because we're getting a bit middle energy there. A little recovery time. Okay. Switch one of these. I have two double inhales. I want to see if I can actually pull my energy all the way back up. Or if it just continues to go down no matter what. Oh, there you go. There's a bit. Yeah, there you go. It keeps us there. Nice. Just carry on with that. Nice. Okay, last guy. Da, 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 da. Achievement, won 50 times. Nice. Imagine winning 50 fights in your life. Like as a professional. That's so many fights. Blocking quite a bit, aren't you? Okay, let's do break through the block. Drop these and bring in some more punching. Throw a little kick in there for fun. He'll never see it coming. Ooh. Okay. 
three in a row. That got slightly closer than I thought it would. Well, I'll be damned. We got what we deserved. <laughs> in traditional culture, good always triumphs over evil. Maybe we should have thought this through. Phew. Well, what do you think now? Your fighting's just awesome. And that evil sucks and good is cool. I've been thinking. I want to be just like you. Let me introduce you to someone. Hey Mick, this young man wants to join us. Why is that? I seen this guy punch out three dudes in a row. He wasn't scared at all. I was crapping my pants. There's your first lesson right there. A true fighter never admits he's scared. Even if... Even if he crapped his pants. <laughs> Me trying to do two voices at the same time for some reason. What am I? Nicely done, Chip. See you later. Right, finally I can sleep. Look at my energy. Literally zero. It's no way to live your life, is it? Hello? Is this the police? Sanu? Hi, Mum. Did you hear the weather forecast today? About the electromagnetic storms? Sorry, I missed all that. Are you having trouble sleeping? Like you wouldn't believe. The earplugs don't work, neither do the candies. Maybe try them both? Maybe it's the moon is in Capricorn or Mars is aligned with Jupiter. There's energy in the air. Can't tell, Mum. Maybe you've been reading too many horoscopes. Laugh at the poor woman, sure. Venus is in the third phase. It shows. Mum, I got a lot of work to do. Bye. Yes. <gasps> That's um, Keanu Reeves from Cyberpunk. I've been waiting for you, officer. Let's run through everything one more time. This is the progress of your shift. The more progress, the greater the reward. To advance, go patrolling, do the paperwork. Finish your shift when you've performed the minimum amount of work. But then your reward will be minimal too, and this is your global progress in the police. Every time you perform your duty, your global progress increases. But this also depends on your reputation. The higher it is, the better your career goes. Not finishing your work makes you look bad. You lose points of your global progress. Any questions? Makes sense to me. <laughs> Could you repeat everything you just said? Oh no, I thought it was going to be a joke. I didn't actually want you to. Makes sense. Let's patrol. Patrolling these city streets. I'm just a bear on the beat. Got my police cap on and I'm looking neat. Gonna go in the butchers because someone stole some meat. Do a little paperwork and then have a little meet and greet with my fellow officers. Well, this guy treats this job like it's a musical. What's the matter with him? There's a gym upstairs, apparently. Whoa. Ugh. Painful. <laughs> Police training. A Wild West simulator. Patrol walking sim. I don't think I'm supposed to. Did he say don't do this while on duty? Anyway. Better have a snack while I'm here. Back on patrol. Too hungry to patrol. Uh, stuff a load of chocolate in my mouth. No time to patrol. Paperwork it is. Duty is over. Congratulations, officer. You finished your first shift. You didn't reach the minimum requirement for today. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, sir. I get an apartment? 
a standard apartment issued to each police officer. Yours is in the nearest skyscraper. Wow, when do I get the keys? Use your head. I mean, I need to figure stuff out for myself. Your GPP chip is the key. Oh, right, thanks. If you fail your duty more than twice, the apartment goes away. The police don't tolerate freeloaders. It seemed like it was hard to fill that bar up. I don't know what order I'm supposed to do stuff in, but... I'll try, I guess. I have an apartment. <gasps> it's so nice! I was expecting it to be awful. What? Imagine this being your plat, your place, and there's like... This is a place and plat. Place and pad. Plaid. A robot. If you keep eating like that, you'll give yourself gastritis. Don't throw your socks, please. Greetings, officer. Fancy fridge. Oh my gosh, what else is in here? I can chill on the sofa. And play some cool games. A luxury bed. Oh my god, look how comfy that looks. It's huge. Oh, what a cool place. Um, what am I doing? Distracted now. Let's go work out. One day till a fight. So I think it's tomorrow. Yep. 17 hours till fight time. We'll make sure we're ready. And I'm going to take this ingredient. Battle trance buff. I'll take it right before I go in though. I don't know how they work. But, but, but I feel like a punching bag would be really fun. I've never owned like a proper one. You need to like actually spend a decent amount to have a good one. And also like installing it and hanging it off or something. I've never had the space. But I bet it's great. Can we go to the gym yet? I want to skip. I want to implant it in my brain, you know? If you could have enhancements in, like, put into you in a Matrix style of I know Kung Fu or be really good at stuff or like a language, if you could have a little into your brain and then you can speak fluent language, would you, um, would you do that? Would you do that? I don't want a chip in my head. I wouldn't sign up for the old Neuralink and let like Elon Musk and people have access to my brain box. But if there was a way to kind of just supplant that knowledge into me without having to keep something in my brain and preferably without surgery, sign me up. Like if you could swallow a pill, you know, I'm speaking more about the moral thing of do you want to learn something or would you be happy to take a pill and have it just implanted into you because... Sign me up, you know. I'm taking all the pills. Do some strength training. Actually do this, this is probably most effective because we're quite low on that. See how much we go up by. Nearly at 40, 15, up to 15 and a half, but it does overload our brain every time we do a big one. Alright, my second day of police work. Let's see if I can actually not fail and lose that lovely apartment. Okay. I'm wondering which of these offers a buff. I'm not sure. Let's start with paperwork. Because when you're doing your training class, one of them offers a buff. And then you do the other one and it gets a lot faster. Like, I'm already running low on time here with nine hours of police work left to do. Let's do one more of those, and I'll get up. Do a patrol. How much does this add, a successful patrol? Takes so long. Down to five. Four hours. Okay, and we got the minimum. Hard to get that bonus, though. Maybe you get better at it? And then do a little socializing for the last two hours. Oh, too hungry. Too hungry to talk. 
<laughs> actually me, hangry. Like, just leave me alone till I've had something. There we go. Okay, so socializing doesn't add anything to our progress bar, so let's prioritize progress, and then we do socializing for the rest of the evening. For the rest of the shift, I should say. Okay, a few. Not losing my apartment. And then I can go straight up into the gym if I want. And this is just open 24-7. Donut dumbbell. That's hilarious. I wonder if this equipment's good. It is pretty quick. Oh, I'm full. Um, empty again. Okay. Wheel. Let's go back to my lovely apartment. Imagine having like a sick penthouse. What would be your dream house or apartment? Is it like a penthouse on... Is there someone on the roof? Is that Batman? <gasps> it's a Batman reference. Oh my... He fell. <laughs> oh, I love Batman so much. That's very cool. Oh wait, he's back. There he goes. That's amazing. What would be your dream apartment? Like a penthouse like this, overlooking a city, a farmhouse, like a cottage core vibe, middle of nowhere. Would you want to live on a beach? Would you want what other types are there? Would you want um to live in a little village? Do you like to live like in a city center? Do you like that hustle and bustle? I mean maybe your dream place is like, you know, over a shop in the middle of London. And you just want to feel it, you know? Let me know in a comment. I would love to know what everyone's, like, dream place is. Okay, it's time for my next fight. I'm going to take this and see what it does. Hopefully it gives me a buff for the fight. New buff, Battle Trance. Minus 10% undefended damage received. Plus 15% life between rounds. Less undefended damage received. Okay, let's go to our fight and see if we can finally beat Raw Shark using what we've been doing so far, but because it's a big fight, I'm going to mix it up with some of our better moves with the Knee Destroyer and the Spin Kick. And let's see. You're doing a lot of blocking, so we're going to be doing penetrating attacks. I'll try and break your rhythm. I have a lot more health, but you just hit so many times. Come on. So I am reflecting that damage onto you, which is good, but... It's also hurting me quite a bit. We might... I might drop break rhythm. I don't think that's adding too much to this move set for me. Other than using some of my energy. Come on, champ. I'm reflecting that damage, but I'm taking too much. Oh my god. It's too much. Switch to hard blocking. Iron Curtain. I, rest I restored health during the round. Is it going to be enough? Hit him. Hit him again. <gasps> we won with six health. Oh my god. The buff drink. The steroids were all the difference. Oh, huge. Finally. Oh man, I've been training for so long to beat that fight. That's amazing. Okay, it's got to work. I have $800 from winning that fight fight. No, I paid for that fight. That's just what I have from doing good work, I guess. Anyway. Oh yeah, I have the police work, and I have the gym, and I'm doing this work now, of course. Okay, let's go up to beat Cyber Dude. Sure. Alright, it's time for the next fight in the league. They look pretty powerful. They're going to be reflecting damage at us. They're quite similar to us as a fighter, actually. <gasps> I haven't replenished my points. And an armored forehead. Reduce damage received if do not block or dodge. I need that perk. Um, I'm going to try with exactly what we won the last fight with. We're not going to do any modifiers because they're just 
I'll do break rhythm. Let's see if that does anything. But they're not dodging or blocking, they're just reflecting damage back. Let's see how this goes. Off to a pretty good start. Oh yeah, I'm still doing the knee destroyer. Let's switch back to normal side punch attacks. And uppercuts, uppercuts, breaths. And try doing nothing here. Actually, reflect damage also. Meat spring. Such a gross word for <laughs> it. We're actually gonna win this fight. I guess Raw Shark was just really hard. Hopefully, work our way up through this league now. rest. Okay, what's next? Training in 12 hours. Wow, we're just a busy, busy boy now. We really are. There goes your energy. That's how quickly it can change. Man, I really got stuck on Rorschach for so long that we have flown up. That guy's in the fourth place in the league, and we just beat him. Hey, son. Uh, Mr. Barry. You're moving through this league like a lover on the first date. Nice and slow, man. Don't want to frighten them off, right? Ha ha ha. Anyway, someday it'll all be yours. Listen, there's one thing you can help me with. The League's core values are at stake. What happened? In the League, my League, I mean the city's best League, we got some slugs who think they can cheat. No way. We're gonna catch every last one of them. We'll give them such a woman. They'll be on their knees, whining. What the hell just happened? We can't even remember the last four years of our lives. You have an eye for a good whooping. <laughs> we'll have to tread carefully. At least until we find out who's behind it. Talk to my boy, Bobo Jr. Oh. Talk to little Bobo. Well, let's go see. Huh? I need some anti-crime stuff? Shh. No crime talk in front of my father. I said anti-crime. There's a time and a place for that. The abandoned house after dark. No, 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 no. So extra Bobo. Can you help with some semi-legal tech stuff? Good to see you, my friend, as always. What are you looking for? Uncle Barry thinks someone in his league's playing dirty. He said you may have some device for figuring out, figuring out who's cheating. Let me guess. When he finds them, he's going to whoop the poor guy so hard. They'll forget the last few years of their lives. Something like that. That guy definitely has some crazy ideas about whooping. Yeah, and memory problems. I have exactly what he's looking for. Cool. This will be the easiest job I ever had. But also I have a problem you can help me with. Bummer. What do you need? About my father? I'm worried about him. Because he's a criminal? People like that kind of make worry for themselves, don't they? No, that's fine. I stopped worrying about all that when I was three. That's when I started to realize that other people don't just give him their money because they love him. It's not out of love. Yeah. The problem is he's going somewhere every evening, acting all mysterious and won't tell me anything. I'm starting to worry. If I keep an eye out for him, will I give you what you want? Come back when you found something out about my father. Tailing mission. Find out where Bobo is going. He's probably in the club at night time. I mean, it's night now. Let's go see if he's here. <gasps> Where's he off to? Follow him. I wonder what I'm getting into. Hey. 
Henry's. What? Pumped metrosexuals. What do we want? Fight each other. Fight club? Is it a fight club? Oh, they're watching Fight Club. Uh... Hey, neighbor. It's a great one. Want to join us? This thing is better than Shakespeare. I had some threatening noises. You'll hear some threats if you stop us from watching this masterpiece. Henry, you're right. Oh, I'm fine, man. Who's Shakespeare? Are you kidding me? It's an important part of our culture. Henry, can we get back to watching? Right, right, back to it. Okay. Have a nice evening, guys. <laughs> so? You've got nothing to worry about. Bobo is watching Japanese cartoons with Henry. Oh, he's watching anime. What? Then why are you saying there's nothing to worry about? You think there's nothing wrong with two adults watching anime? Try to explain that to the people Bobo works with. Here's what we'll do. Somewhere, sometime, under torture, you're asked where Bobo goes at night. He'll make up a lie. Something less awful. He uses stray cats for target practice. He flirts with the slime. He uses voice messaging. Anything. No problem. Swear. Okay, I swear. Are you happy? Nobody will find out. Our poor family. What about everyone who watches anime feeling attacked right now. Dum da dum da dum 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 <gasps> Romance A girl <laughs> Sorry No no it was my fault Should have at least asked her name. Whoa, she's being arrested? Well, taken away by... Those aren't the police. I have to find out where they took her. And I got the device of figuring out who's cheating. Finally! Now we can smoke out those nasty little bastards. There's something else. What? I met a girl on the way here. Oh, my boy. Say no more. Say no more. No, I, I don't even know her name. You're more like Uncle Barry every minute, kid. <laughs> yeah, but problem is she got arrested. The cops? Well, that's no problem. One little phone call at all. No, not cops. Some guys with helmets. Oh, what? Then you should forget about her. No way, I'm gonna save her. My boy, do you know who those guys were? No, some kind of motorcyclists? Some c It's the feds, kid. And if they caught this girl with her hand in the cookie jar, it's better for you to stay out of it. But I... And better for everyone you care about, too. Your mom, your friends, your dog. I don't have a dog. Lucky for the poor innocent pooch. I hear you. Good boy. Get back to training, champ. Come in. Over. What's that? Nothing. Weirdo. Signal's breaking up. Please repeat. What is that voice? Where is it coming from? If you keep babbling and then saying it's nothing again... I need to figure this out. Bye. Come in. Can you read? I prefer movies. The retro kind. Why? <laughs> Who's in this channel? Where's Juliet? 
<gasps> Did we swap our little wrist talky thingies? What have you done with her? Nothing. Her name's Juliet. We ran into each other right before she got arrested. Damn it. Who am I talking to? Lady, you're the one who called me. Well, called? Who do you think this is? The 90s? Somehow you joined a highly encrypted channel that nobody knows about. I'll need to access your GPP chip to find out what happened. Ah, so it like connected to mine like Bluetooth. The password. Uh, I don't have one. How is that even possible? Nobody told me I needed to set a password. Amazing. What century are you living in? Listen, you're asking too many hard questions. I'll run your GPP number through the database. Why did the feds arrest this girl? Who are you? Over and out. Rude. A mysterious voice. The achievement says you don't know her, but she sounds alluring and confident. Okay. That'll inform my voice acting for her going forward. Okay, we have another person to save from the ghetto. Another ghetto guy. Another member of the boy band. I wonder what this big threat is. Is it the actual, like, is it going to be the Braveheart fighter that I just beat? That looks like him, right? Where am I going to get money for all of this? Uh, yeah, man, I understand you so much. All these people around me, my parents, my girlfriend, the crazy cat lady who lives next door. Why are they always dependent on me? I can barely even take care of myself. Oh man, that's so true. Life sucks. They can take that responsibility and shove it. I have just the solution for this. What's that? Booze. Hmm. Does that actually help? A lot of booze. A lot, a lot, a lot every day. You, you wouldn't believe how powerful this stuff is. Being an alcoholic has a lot of perks. Like what? Uh, who's that guy? Never mind, I'll explain. Think about it. If nobody expects you to do much, you can't really disappoint anyone. Hmm. But you can do bad things. That's true. Generally, you don't remember a damn thing anyway. That's real, man. I almost forgot the best part. What? Most experienced masters among us can understand dogs. I swear I once heard a dog say these words. I want lasagna. I swear. Well, I got kicked out of school when I was 10. I have bad genes. I'm in. Good choice. I know a nightclub nearby. Let's go. Don't. Why? You're stronger than that. You think so? I like how this is like a bad sort of drama at school, you know? We're talking about a shortcut away from your problems. That's true. But at the same time, that path is full of sadness and disappointment. Look around. Do you really want to be looking at this ghetto for the rest of your life? Won't you even try to make an effort? You can change this world. I don't know where you came from, but I can hear the truth in what you're saying. Maybe I really should be a little tougher. How dare you deprive me of my drinking, buddy. <laughs> I gotta fight him again. It is very brave, heart. I knew it. I'll use the same techniques that I beat him with last time, but I will not do any special moves. feel like sort of those PSAs, like, don't do drugs, kids. You know, it's got that vibe very much to it. Let's see, this shouldn't be too much of an issue. Oh, it's close. I'm not using any of my special moves, but... Throw one in to finish it off. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Don't lose. Whew. Nine health left. 
Good thing I threw the Nee Destroyer in there. Like I was saying, a sober person always beats a drunk. Kid, don't listen. You giving up a world where all women look like a goddesses, and even some of the guys. Sometimes even trees. Mostly conifers. Makes you wonder. But what do you say? No thanks. You're right. That's not a choice, I can see it now. What next? You're with me. We have another volunteer. Good to see you, young man. You chose the more difficult path, but it's the right one. Yay, it's such an honor for me. First, I want to learn Drunken Master style. Arigato, Master. <laughs> New buff, Guardian of the Universe. Mick, why were you going on about a universe level threat? And it was just one confused kid. Because there's a universe in every human soul. Who told you that? You're the one who usually says something like that. Me? No way. I just... I was hijacking the guy's Zetflix subscription. Past six months. I felt kind of bad about it. A little. But now you worked everything out and everything's fine. And I can go back to watching my shows. What's the buff I just unlocked? Oh. Although helping people is important. <laughs> okay, thanks dude. And I like what you said, every soul's a universe, honestly. <laughs> okay, hey. Go away. New buff. Guardian of the universe. Busy people don't have time for boozing. It's one more student for mixed gym. Oh, it's like, doesn't seem to be an actual buff though. I guess more students means we're getting more training out of them and the gym stuff will go faster. I'm gonna assume that's how it's working. And one bottle of hollow cola, please. The regular one gives me heartburn. Uh, hi. How are you and, uh, what are you doing here? Oh, hello. I'm shopping. What else would I be doing at the shop? Do you remember me? Sure, I remember you. You helped me with my personal items after we bumped into each other. Thank you very much for that. Personal items? Is that code for all the de hacking devices she had? What happened to you? But what did the feds want with you? Did they just let you go? Um, after that I just went home. What? But I saw them arrest you. And your friends from the super secret organization. They're worried about you. Look, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have any friends and I've never been arrested. I'm going home now. Just like I did last time. Like I always do. Juliet. If they did something to you, I promise I'll... I'm out of here, weirdo. Wait, so she's like a hologram now? Stop looking at me like I should understand what's going on here. I don't understand. A hologram's not like... Dead. Or fully in a hologram, like she's somewhere plugged into something. Hmm. That raises some questions, doesn't it? In terms of like what it means for that police officer and such. What a right hook that was. You aren't the Undertaker, kid. You're like the overtaker. And I'm the overtaker. Get it? <laughs> That's great, I guess. It's a little favor you can do for me. There's always a little favor I can do for you. This one really isn't that big. Hoping to find a good detective story I can watch sometime. An old movie, you know? Think you could give me a tape? Sure, I know a guy. Thanks, kid. Henry's going over to Henry's house. Gonna have a time. Oh. Are we watching an aerobics video? 
what? Hi guys, uh, no more anime. Anime's on Wednesdays, today's Tuesday. It's fitness day. You wanna watch some anime? No, no, no actually I have a case. Is that Ruth in the video? Who's Ruth? A fighter from Silver's League. I don't know, she's pretty good. Do you have any detective stories in your collection? Of course I do. This one blew my mind. It's this huge mystery, nothing makes sense. And then at the last moment, it turns out the killer was the gardener. Yeah, the gardener. It's over there on the shelf. Make sure to return it. The killer is the god. One question. Why are you watching fitness videos while you're sitting down? It doesn't work like that. You don't understand. It's for the aesthetic pleasure. Oh. Maybe a little fitness would be good for you? What are you trying to say? Nothing, I was just leaving. Here's a tape. Thanks, my boy. Finally. Okay. Mission done. Well, officer, it seems you're settling into things nicely. Thank you, sergeant. Little by little. Now you're ready to go on your first call. <gasps> really? We usually wait a few years, but you're doing alright, so we decided to see you in action. Oh yes, sir. Uh, I'm ready. Where's my first call? Silver's gym. A client somehow got himself stuck inside the trainer. Oh no. Poor Silver. I mean, inside the neuro training machine. <sighs> Go over there and figure it out. And remember, the rule of the fist is above all. Even if you're dealing with your mother? That's too many questions. We'll be looking forward to your report. My first case. Huh. Let me go over there right now. What's going on? Maybe in here? What? You can forget about it. Then I will take these massages and put them in your... Then you can kiss them first, you whiskered little... Cool it, ladies. The police are here. What's the problem? This communist thug broke my equipment. He's kept the swine off his pathetic trainers, and then he just thugs when they fail. Kinda sounds reasonable, doesn't it? Yeah. Ordinarily, we'd have to start a case, call in some experts, arrange a technical inspection. Right. But we have the rule of the fist. Yeah, wait, what? It's the fairest rule in the world, so go on, fight. God bless corporation. Let's do it. No, 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 wait. Uh, I can't fight. Why? You're a fighting teacher, aren't you? Yeah, right, but... He is frightened like three little girls. Like what? No, I'm just... Look, can you just take the fight for me? Fight for you? Why? Because we know each other, buddy. And I'm your father's old friend, remember? Please. Okay. Thanks, kid. I knew you wouldn't let me down. What? What is this? This is some kind of damn corruption. Apparently so. I hate this. It's Boris the Blade again. What are you doing? Dodging. So I faint. But not in the ring, you know what I mean? Ah, ah. Ooh, ow. Ow. It's kind of crazy just how many references are in this that they're not getting <laughs> in any kind of trouble, I guess. I don't know. It's pretty wild. I wonder what's going on with Silver and why he won't fight. I feel like he's some sort of... Gotta be a mystery, right? 
Hopefully I get like free gym stuff because of this. No, no, my pride is wounded. That's the rule of the fist in action. You lost, so now you can go to hell with your claims. Let's get out of here, kid. We're all clear at Silver's gym, sir. Well done, officer. And now for my favorite part of the case. There's more? The paperwork. Ah, oh, no, wait. A oh, yes, son. The paperwork doesn't do itself. However, I do have a bit of good news for you. Now that you're more experienced on the job, the paperwork will go faster. Achievement. Proving yourself to the police. Nice. Well, let's go home. I'm a proper policeman now. I do policey things. I do paperwork. I've got a cool hat on my head. I guess I'm just gonna keep on training. I watched that film you gave me. What did you think? Total crap. Boring. Predictable. Trite. My friend said he had no idea who the killer was until the very end. The gardener. The gardener. Yeah, I knew it from the first few frames. Next time, just bring me a fitness video or something. <laughs> Hmm. Take the video back to Henry, then. <gasps> Our friend. Run away, Simba. Watching The Lion King. I think I've seen that since I was a kid. No, no, no. Guys, please stop. You can't be watching The Lion Queen together. Hey, neighbor. Ruth? Hi there. How? Honestly, it's not complicated. Henry just came in and enrolled in one of my fitness courses. I feel great. He's the first person in the city to sign up. Just couldn't pass up my chance. Now she's the most classic thing in my life. What do you think, mate? I'm happy for you. Both of you, very much. I'm even happier it isn't Bobo. By the way, I brought back that detective tape. Thanks again. No problem, mate. Put it over there. Enjoy the movie. And don't cry too much when... No spoilers. She ain't seen it yet. <laughs> They're together. Cute. Having a little Lion King date in the home cinema. Dream. Oh. Hi, Henry. Dude. Your mother died. What? Or maybe not. I'm not sure exactly. Henry, what the hell are you talking about? Here's the whole story. I needed a corkscrew because Ruth and I were going on a date. And I brought some wine, you know, and we couldn't decide on a movie. She wanted to watch Tickle Tannic, but I was feeling like, oh my ghost. Henry. Sorry, mate. Uh, long story short, I went to ask your mum for a corkscrew. She was lying there unconscious. So I called an ambulance. Where is she now? At the hospital, I think. Run to the hospital? Hope everything works out okay, just like in Tickle Tannic. Oh no, wait, they got tickled to death at the end. <laughs> Good luck, mate. Hospital. Mom. Doctor, what happened to my mom? I think she had a hunker chunker about 20 years ago. Otherwise, I wouldn't be talking to you right now. I'm not joking. What happened to the woman who was just brought in? Ah, that one. She's stable now. But she'll need surgery. And as soon as possible. So do it. What are you waiting for? We'll get right on it. Right after you pay for it. What? You see, your mother currently doesn't have a penny of health insurance. In fact, if laughter really was medicine, her insurance would only cover a few chuckles. <laughs> Maybe one of those half giggles. But I wouldn't count on it. I get it. How much are we talking about? It'll cost... $42,000. What is this, America? 
And don't forget the balance you owe us already. The ambulance, the medical team, clean bed linen, plus all the air she's breathing, all that stuff has to be paid for, and the counter is ticking. Every day she spends here will cost you a small fortune, so I recommend you take prompt action. Are you gainfully employed? I have lots of work. So go to your employer and ask for help. Damn. Otherwise, your mother will be dead. And you'll be in debt to Pharmacom Industries for the rest of your life. Oh no. I guess I'll go ask Vince McMahon. Oh, it's closed. <sighs> Who's gonna help me? Hey, trainer, what's wrong? Mick, it's my mum. She's sick. I need a whole barrel of money. Calm down, kid. We'll figure it out. How? We're like the poorest people in the history of poverty. We'll do it somehow. Keep still. I'm thinking. Hmm. Okay, here's what we do. We'll ask your students to put up flyers all over the city. I'll spam social media. Just don't be too annoying. You don't want a backlash with everyone hating you. Don't try to teach marketing to grandpa. And you, you gotta earn the adoration and respect of the people. Not to mention the money. You have to become a sensei. How can I do that? Always do your best. Teach your training sessions, help the guys, and most importantly, be a leader. Everything else will work out fine, kid. We won't let anything happen to your mother. Well, remember, if you accept our help, you have to forget about working for the police. You can't sit on two chairs at the same time, kid. I think I would rather work with the people than for the police. I think. I think that's an easy choice. I just did the police thing, so I wanted to like go down all the quest lines that I could, but... Let's do training. Let's be a sensei. I'll never forget this. Remember, you're never poor if you got friends. There are people around you who will support you. That's the real power. In unity, get it? Thanks, Mick. Go and earn their respect. And they'll help you in return. Always. Yee! I'm the people's champ. Okay, good. I don't have to do my police job anymore, do I? Gotta become a sensei. No more police work for me. Running on a treadmill. Actually, I need to do this. I need to get all my points back up. Okay, let's make sure we're ready for a good training session. Eat. Little nap. Little napsky poos. Alright, ready to go. Gym training. Sorry I'm five minutes late, guys. Let's do this. I am now Sensei Morph. You will address me as such. Or as father. That's also fine. Now, let's get to work. Today, we are learning... The punch. To it. Let's see some sweat. Another lesson. The low kick. Nice. We'll finish off with a chat. me a second. I can't think on an empty tummy. Just standing in the corner eating a sandwich quickly. Alright, let's finish off. Finish strong. Last hour. Pump, pump, pump. Pays pretty well. One more training session and I think I'll be leveling that up. So it'll be interesting to see what happens there when that gets full. Whether that's all I need to do. Hey, trainer, watch the tape, the one with my stag party. Yeah, it was just another action movie. Here's another tape for you. 
So before we got to Apple's shop, we met one of our friends, Ivan. He brought a bear from somewhere. <laughs> what? I wasn't there, I swear. The thing was wearing a big Russian hat and carrying a bandolier. We took turns fighting the bear. I'll tell you, son, that bear was good. But then it turned out that he was on the red list, so we stopped fighting and we took him with us to hang out some more. What happened next? Can't remember. Okay. Oh, sign in for the next fight. Honestly, I might fight Prees again. She was really easy. Like, it wasn't an issue at all. We've got to get up to... We've got to fight Harold and Kumar and Chappie. I could challenge Kumar. Do you know what? Let's do it. Let's leapfrog and see where we're at in the fight game. Okay. Um, let's go watch this tape. See what it is. Commander. Commando, I guess. The former commander of a special unit is living a happy country life with his daughter until one day she's kidnapped somewhere, somehow, someone is going to pay for this. More from practicing techniques with students, increase effectiveness of training with a punching bag, additional slot in adventure. I ate green berries for breakfast. And right now I'm very hungry. Imagine that guy's digestion. Yeah. When you're both quoting films at each other, it's such a like bonding experience, let's be honest. Feels good. Um, I feel like the only thing I want from that is the punch bag, really. Bonus. Punch bag bonus. Pa, pa, pa. I've kind of ended up just focusing on stamina so much more, really. A little unintentionally. Fine. I wonder if I just don't go to work for the police anymore. I'll lose my apartment, though. That's the thing. I don't know. They said, like... But it still popped up. So it didn't really... Let's see. Officer, I was just looking for you. I need your help. Really? Me too. Help me guess the word responsive, sympathetic attitude to... Sergeant, please, this is serious. My mum's sick, she needs surgery. But it costs a whole ton of money. Can the police help me? I'm glad you asked. Just recently, the corporation launched a new initiative. Medical insurance for police officers and their families. Great, that sounds perfect. However... Okay. If you need our help, you have to become a detective. I... But I warn you. If you accept our help, you can forget about Mick and his old gym. You're old enough to pick a side, son. I pick Mick. Mr. So, Mr. Selfish, now that we've got your problem sorted, how about mine? Responsive, sympathetic attitude to others' misfortune. Um, responsive. Seven letters starts with an E. Empathy? Hmm, E-M-P-A, maybe, maybe. Damn, empathy. Then Peppa Pig must be wrong. Oh, I would love to see how the police storyline plays out, but I think I've got to stay true to my people, you know? Enjoy this apartment one last time before they take it away from me. Have my slime lunch in here and one more sleep in the bed. I'll miss you, bed. I'll miss you, big window. I'll miss you, awesome TV and games console that comes out of the wall. I'll miss you, beanbag. I'll miss you, Fallout robot. Until next time. So now, I need to buy some more food. Okay, so this is really where we find out where we're at. Big fight time. I'm the number three spot. Doing a lot of damage with that new Superman punch move. Good lord. Absolutely ruining people. Wow. I mean, just finish the job here.
crazy. We're tearing this league up once I'm over Rorschach. Been pretty nuts. Just need to make sure I get all my special points back up before the next fight. I got a little announcement to make. Come on, everyone gather round. As you know, our coach is in trouble. The cruel soulless corporate bastards think they can do anything and nobody can stop them. They think they can wipe their feet on the backs of hardworking people. Uh, sorry, got a little carried away there. Anyway, for the last few days we've been posting flyers all over the city asking for support. Plus we crowdfunded a fictional board game set in the dystopian kids universe. Cool idea. Thanks. So far we've managed to collect roughly half the amount we need. <sighs> However, I talked it over with the guys and we decided to chip in the rest ourselves. Your mother's surgery's paid for. Yeah, we love you coach. Yeah, trainer, this for you. <laughs> I don't have words, guys. I owe you for life. No, coach. We owe you for so much, coach. Hmm. Huh? It's not just coach anymore. It's sensei now. Feels good. New goal, become a master. Hey, we love you, sensei. Hey, it's awesome. Yeah. Haragato, guys. It doesn't mean I'm going to take it easy on you during training. No, oh, we know. Yeah, this is our sensei. All right. <laughs> I kind of wish I sounded like that in real life. <laughs> hey, listen up. Down to sleep. Who wants to get some snoozes in? I don't know what to say, man. You don't gotta say a thing, kid. Actually, I want to tell you something. You know what I think of when I see a scene like this one? I see me and your grandpa staying here at your age. Talking about justice and all that stuff. Thinking about Punch Club. Can you finally tell me what Punch Club is? Is it some kind of hobby club? A sect? What does it mean? It means even in the darkest time, there's still a bunch of people ready to kick evil's butt. Your father, like your grandpa before him, always stood for it. It's your turn now, kid. And I'm proud of you. Wait, are those tea... Tears? I guess now I can go to the hospital and see my mom. Doctor, how is she? You know, not too bad, not too bad at all, especially after a few beers on a Friday night. I'm talking about my mum. <laughs> oops, I'm talking about a completely different woman. Have you done the surgery or not? Sure, and if you keep and keep your voice down, she can rest a bit. Look, she's coming out of the anesthesia. This is always funny. Mum, are you okay? What did you say? Are we actually together? You never have the time for me. Thank you, the beautiful. Roy, don't do it. That guy's a big ugly mm, Roy. Oh, fluffy scum, get out. Mom? Are we together? Can you believe the nonsense she's saying? This is good stuff. How long will it last? Not long enough to grab a video camera. <laughs> She'll be with us in a moment. Before I go, I wanted to give you a little souvenir. Something about the size of an apple, which was inside your mother's skull. Looks like a GPP chip, but they made back in ancient Greece or whatever. How did it get there? How could you possibly expect me to know that? But I must say, installing that into someone's head is incredibly dangerous. What am I supposed to do with this thing? I don't know. Maybe show it to someone who understands tech stuff? Are you going to keep her in our care, or are you ready to take her home? If Mick's fundraising project picks up steam, we can afford it. Community fundraising. I wouldn't hold my breath. In that case, I guess we have no choice. Thanks for using our services and blah blah blah. You're awake. How are you? Oh, my son, thank God. I'm fine, don't worry. Goal complete, favorite son. The doctor gave me an injection. Those candies from Apple were kid stuff by comparison. Still, feeling like Dorothy isn't back from Oz yet. Let's just stand here, honey, between the elephant and Mr. Potato. You guys, move over, please. Yeah, just like that. Thank you, everyone. Now I can see you all. Look at you, honey, how big you've grown. It seems like only yesterday you were pooping in the middle of the living room. Mom, don't. Right into your pants. Mom, please. And now you're a fighter, just like your father. Now I see it, and I'm proud of you for it. 
But you always said... When I met your father, he was a friend of my brother Roy. They were both fighters. Mostly they'd sit on the lawn and drink beer. Men folk. Roy was all excited about his new friend, excuse me. Adri, this guy's so cool, you gotta meet him. And I did, and I got to know him, and we fell in love. It's really touching. Why didn't you ever tell me this before? I don't know, honey. I haven't felt very good for the last 16 years. Me. But now I see everything clearly. A man like your father could never just leave the woman he loved. Only a giant king-sized danger could have stopped him. But somehow I know he's not dead. Not yet. He is alive. And you can help him, son. Only you can help him. Don't worry, Mum. I'll figure it out. Right now you should get some rest. Sure, Sonny. We did it. We saved Mum. Ah, oh, I lost my apartment. Damn. Back to sleeping in the gym. Like a real sensei. Now that you're a sensei, you'll be taking a different approach. How do you mean? As you notice, the gym has grown. We got lots more students now. That means there's more, no more side jobs. Whoa, only your main job. Get ready to do a workout every couple of days. We'll have this whole city smelling a manly sweat. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wow, no more side jobs. No mafia, no bending, no slime punching. Just training. I like that. Let's focus. So I'm wondering if I can ask the doctor about the stuff they found in my mum's head. Yeah. Let's have a look. Damn it! No, I have no idea what it is. Why did you just say damn it? Did I? Yeah. Are you sure? Damn it, yes. I got a leg cramp. Emmett, if you're hiding something... Oh, come on! Why are, you, why are you picking on an old man? I said I don't know anything. Go away! I need to see my doctor. What's going on in this in here? What? What is this? Someone in there. What's that a reference to? It's a burden to be as smart as Emmett. Yeah, mate. Tell me what's going on. You're not a pharmacon. We're sadly lacking competent specialists in your field. My field. Punching people's faces. Oh, right. Maybe you're up for a little work? I'm listening. Generally speaking, our organization runs smoothly under the auspices of health services, ruthlessly grinding the fates of ordinary citizens like a soulless machine. Sounds epic and awful. Just as nature intended. However, there are some people in the city who presume to think they don't need to pay their debts to us. A cheeky hobo in the ghetto, the fellow in the Hawaiian shirt who hangs around Tower Hall, and our secret client located in the junkyard. There's no need for you to beat them. Just give them those black spots and they'll douse their trousers. Black spots. Am I supposed to do this? Thank you. I'll pass along your wishes. No, I don't have any biscuits. Goodbye. It's the dog who I was supposed to give it to you? So if I go to the tower, I know the Hawaiian shirt guy's here. Say what you need to and make it fast or get the hell out of here. Alright. Those bastards think they got me, huh? The most elusive and unpredictable son of a gun on the planet. I'll show them. You okay? You messed up your line. I'll show them. I'll show them, man. They have no idea who they're dealing with. I'll hide so none of those goddamn idiots can find me. You tell those corporate bastards happy searching, fools. Just a guy in a Hawaiian shirt. And then the other one was in the... Ghetto. Is the ghetto a place? Town ghetto. <gasps> There's a bar I can go in. Let me in. I want to hang out too. 
Damn. Didn't they say it was someone? Oh, it's this the hobo. Rukahawa? The hell. They haunted me while I was a blind Vietnam War veteran. They haunted me while I was a runaway replicant. They haunted me even while I led a mercenary band in the Middle Ages. Now I'm a hobo, and what do they do? They haunt me. These situations are so much easier when you can just use a shotgun. Hobo with a shotgun! His film is the reference there. Uh, I getcha. I getcha. Okay, I gave them out. It was hard to tell. Don't worry, the main thing is those freeloaders will have trouble sleeping. But, what? What services does Pharmacon provide for dogs? Oh, so you found out. Well, I have to confess. Grooming, styling, walking, I can even make your doggy a Tok Tok star if you want. Is that sarcasm? <laughs> of course it's sarcasm. Why the hell would I give you confidential information about our clients? Doesn't the word secret mean anything to you? Gosh. Anyway, you deserve a reward. We'll tune the sympathy parameters of our Monsieur Dr. Feelgood, especially for you. Oh. I heal faster from Dr. Feelgood. Hey, Mac, how's it going? The gym's doing great, thanks to you, Sensei. We can recruit more students. This young man brought his brother with him. Yeah, he really wants to join. Yeah, like a whole lot. He needs to find a job first. Don't worry, we'll save a place for him. Good luck. Uh, no, Sensei, we think you might be able to help him find a job. Why me? You've been running around this city for a while. You even have a little authority in some circles. Put in a good word. Okay. Hooray! I told you Sensei had handled everything. Okay. I'll get you a job at the bending. They my peeps. No problemo. One of my friends looking for a job. Say no more, all this business to be done, but I should warn you. I strongly recommend you not dump body in the river. Body, that's not the kind of job I'm talking about. Ah, you say job, you mean like job job, normal one. Yeah. Ah, look around, always something to bend. Oh, hey, your friend, comrade. If you help me with a little problem. What kind of problem? No player in city. Powerful warrior. Worked for Yakuza for a while. Getting reports he has eyes on business. Some dirty Veronic thinks he can threaten me and Dynamo. But he could steal from us everything we earned by honest robbery. Sounds rough. Where can I find him? Hangs around in town ghetto with the rest of scum. Beat the greedy thief. Oh yeah, rule of the fist. Where is this powerful warrior? And I saw him pick up a cow with one hand. Spin it over his head. Why? No idea, for fun. Maybe he wanted some butter. That man's a nightmare. I saw him shove a flute into one poor devil. Straight up his... Lucky he got away. Imagine what he'd do with your guitar. Yeah. No, fellas, I'm fine. Didn't hurt at all. Besides, I could just buy myself a new flute. It's okay. It's okay. <gasps> I am Kazuma Kiryu. Let us fight. Um. Okay, I'm not going to mess around. We're going to come in with the super punches. Wait, what are you doing? Cross. Reflect 40% dam- 40% damage back? When dodge successful. Okay. Um. Focused on countering dodges. Pinning the opponent to the ropes. Uh, 
Let me see what the buffs are here. Regeneration, restore health at the beginning of the round, reduce enemy chances of dodging. Okay, so this is the one that I need to do, because if you dodge, it hurts me. And then I come in with a super punch. And a super punch. And then I'll rest. And then I will kick you in the ribs. Ba -ba -ba -da. Let's reduce your dodging. And I'll reflect damage back to you. Drop your guard, increase damage received. Wait, that's not what I want. It's meat spring that reflects damage. There we go. Let's give it a go. As if we can't beat you from the Yakuza games, right? Yakuza. Never did finish that one, but loved it. Kept getting distracted. <laughs> Singing karaoke and stuff. Very, very good. Hits hard. I've got quite a lot of energy here. I could probably output more, but may not need to. No, we're good. I am leaving. Weirdo. Alright, well, I got my friend the job then. Yeah. I hope don't throw a body in the river. No need, but he won't be giving you more problems. Good, Dynamo, you hear? Now we can continue our honest mafia activity. Mm -hmm. Tell friend he has job. The main thing is not to dump anything in the river. Otherwise, lot of problem. Nice. I'm guessing we're back in the gym. Congratulations, you have a job now. You're a proud bender of everything at the junkyard. Cool. I told you. Why bother doing something when somebody owes you a favor? I think they forgot to say thank you. It's not easy being in everyone's debt. And I wish you patience, Sensei. Got some new equipment in the gym. Wow. Oh my god, it does so much. I got so many points doing that. I got all of my points back really quickly. For the glory of the resistance. Grab as many seashells as you can carry. Hands off my goods, you shiny bastards. Shut up, you armless capitalist. We'll pour mayonnaise in your jar. <laughs> and ketchup. What, it tastes better. Need me help up here? Yes? Please, quickly, hide the mayonnaise! Oh damn, I forgot, you're a super fighter. What are you looking at? Kick their tin foil asses! Hurry, brothers, if blood must spill in the name of the resistance, then so be it. tell me what's going on. I was robbed, that's what. Luckily those idiots only took some shells and a pack of M&Ms. Hmm. What do they even want the shells for? Why are you selling them here in the first place? Did you fall down here from Pluto? Seashells replaced toilet paper decades ago. Then how? Don't ask me. I lost my body a long time before that. Okay. I should track them down and figure out what's going on. Follow the resistance into the sewers? Not the sewers again. Come in. Oh, hi, you're just in time. 
Why is it you don't show up in any records going back 20 years? You sure are pretty direct with your questions. I didn't really leave the house until recently. Overprotective mother, you see. For 20 years? What have you been doing? Watching retro movies, working out a lot. I'm good at juggling. Oh, I have some news too. You learned something? I saw Juliet. Where is she? Is she alright? She's a hologram now. She doesn't remember anything. Damn it. They brainwashed her. Now the resistance is in danger. Did you say the resistance? Come in. Yes, what? I'm in the sewers right now, following some guys from the resistance. They made tinfoil suits for themselves and stole some seashells. Are they your colleagues? What? No. Why would we wear tinfoil suits? No idea. Maybe protection from 5G towers? Why should we be protected from 5G towers? They spread toxic Wi-Fi? That is gibberish. Whoever you're talking about, they don't have anything to do with us. This isn't a phone. I think we lost him. Let us hurry. Tyler would be pleased. Hi guys, who's Tyler? Damn, how did he catch up with us? How are we going to get out of this? Uh, I said... Zyla? Nice try. These guys your friends? Oh no, he's using the evil Wi-Fi. No idea who those idiots are. Well, stop him before he dooms us all. I'll go warn Zyla. <laughs> the writing in this game is so funny. Time to take down the resistance. Remember when these guys used to give me so much trouble? That's one. Who's Tyler? Where do I find him? I won't tell you anything, Wi-Fi user. Then I'll have to remove that tinfoil hat. No, please. Anything but that. It's straight down the hallway, then right, you ruthless scum. Not a very secret base. Oh, it's Tyler... It's Fight Club. Tyler Durden. Hey, Tyler. Why are you doing all this? That depends on what exactly you mean. Why are you stealing seashells? Isn't it obvious? To prevent people from pooping. Why do you believe in nonsense and live in the sewers? The real question is, doesn't everything you believe boil down to absolute nonsense? Why do you wear tinfoil costumes? That has nothing to do with me. The guys came up with that one on their own. Looks great though, doesn't it? I'd be lying if I said I understand what's going on here. Why do people always need to understand everything? It's a crazy world. The police only think about themselves. Animals rule the world and we're having slime for lunch. Why don't we just have fun with it? You mean, you're doing all this just for fun? Sure. Why is his smoking censored? I'm confused. Why do you call yourself the resistance? It's the fake resistance. It's just too long to always say the whole name. The guys just call it the resistance. Yeah, resistance. The other finalists were sons of ponies and warheads. But for some reason we settled on fake resistance. Somebody said it was like postmodern. I still don't understand what's going on. But I figured out there's no need. You're making rapid progress. Would you like to try on a foil hat? No, I'm fine. I still need those seashells. No problem, you can take them. Great. They're scattered all over the city. The guys tossed the evidence while they were running away from you. What's happening with this rat here? Remember. 
What? What? Pretty sure you have nothing to do with those guys. Told you. Who are you then? I still don't know if I can trust you. Maybe next time. Over and out. I wonder what's going on. Ugh, so now I gotta find... Einstein didn't chill himself, apparently. Now I gotta find seashells all over the place. There's one. See, so you've always been athletic. I just wanted to be strong enough to protect my mum. From what? Anything. People like Tyler. Ah, so this is every time I find a shell, I'm gonna have a little combo. Tell me something about your childhood. Most of it happened in the garage. Really? We have that in common. Hmm. Any in the gym? They're everywhere. You can ask me something too, it's only fair. Why are you in the resistance? It'll sound like a cliche. Try me. Driven by a desire to make the world a better place. Surely one is not at Henry's place. Oh my god, there is. How do you think it'll work out? What? Making the world a better place. I don't know. Maybe with enough passion and confidence and trust. So this is the person who hasn't given me her name. Right, sorry. I'm Carla. Nice to meet you, Carla. At my house? Did one end up in here? Oh look, Bender the Robot's in the box. I never noticed that before. Okay, I don't see any shells. Okay, so they didn't leave one at my house. How about at the farm? Yep. How do you think it'll work out? I can't tell you right now. Aren't you the one talking about trust? Sorry, but when the time is right, maybe you can help. For now, go back to Apu. You already found six boxes. Oh. Maybe it's just the first six places you go then. Spectacular. But only half of them. In case you're wondering, it wasn't easy. I'm very grateful. And? Okay, I'll pass you for any other seashells you- I'll pay you, sorry. Ah, find the six remaining ones. Aren't you forgetting something? No. Why? Oh yeah, donuts. Mr. Barry must be dying. <laughs> He's always waiting for these donuts. Oh, he's closed. Um, I want to collect the other six now, then. Just let me do it whilst I'm... ...focused. There's one. Okay, so I'm not getting any more... ...phone calls when I find them, it looks like. One here. One in the Dream Lab, that's two. Police station? Officer. Hi, Sergeant. I got some good news. Nothing more to say, Officer. You've stained the police uniform with links to an illegal element named Mick. Now you can both rot in that old gym until we get around to shutting it down. Hand over your badge. Say goodbye to your privileges. You're not a cop anymore. Oh, okay. <sighs> hmm. 
Maybe there's one on the club street. Yep. The tower. One more, I think. Probably the junkyard. That's all of them, right? Ah, missing one more. Where haven't I been? Um, Tower, Club Street, in the sewer maybe? Uncle Barry's office? When he opens, I'll give him the donuts. Maybe it's in there. Hey, neighbor. What's up, Henry? I wanted to ask you, as an athlete, what's the difference between dumbbells and kettlebells? Let me think. They're two completely different things. Don't get smart. I just decided I'd start to take care of myself. Get myself ready for beach season, you know? Because of Ruth? You guessed it, mate. She said I was flabby like a bag of potatoes. But you know what? One time I tripped over a bag of potatoes and it was tough, unyielding. So maybe it was a compliment? Henry, can I help you with something? Don't have a couple of kettlebells lying around in your old garage, do you? Or a dumbbell or whatever? Sure, maybe I'll check. Find some weights for Henry. Why did my gang suddenly appear there and then disappear? I am the sensei in my old garage, okay. I still need to find that other bloody seashell. Oh my god. And one of these psychos says to the other, What did you say about the earth? <laughs> oh, you're a great storyteller, yes. A poo. A poo? What are you doing here? Oh, Sonny. Uh, hi. We have to tell him everything, Adriana. There's an everything involved? A poo, we agreed. I'm sorry, but this is just ridiculous. Your son is a grown man. You should know the truth. Mom, what is he talking about? Darling, you see... We're in love, your mother and I. And we want to be together. She has a husband, you sneaky bastard. Right, Mom? You told me he was alive, remember? It's not that simple, sonny. What? You're young. It's okay if you don't understand. Understand what? Wanting to date a head in a jar instead of wait for my dad? Son! I need to punch something really hard. Silver, I know it's late, but can I please come in and train? Oh, I know that look. Well, I'll tell you what, let's spar. The drama. I want to make a really filthy joke there, but I'm not going to. But I'm sure you can... <laughs> fill in the blanks yourself. As soon as I saw those two on the sofa, and them getting it together, I was like... But no, that's not... I keeps it PG, you know? If you can uh, insert your own joke in the comments below for that scene. I'm sure someone will say what I was thinking. So what's the problem? I don't know if I should even get into it. So you can take it out on me but can't tell me anything. Come on, man. If you can't tell me directly, use metaphors. Alright then. One of my friends left me a flower to look after until he got back. But I don't think the flower will make it until he returns. Why is that? Because there's some lousy aphid that wants to devour it. <laughs> but that's easy, my friend. Remove the aphids. Problem solved. What if the flower doesn't mind being devoured? You're making me laugh, buddy. Huh? Who cares about a flower's opinion? Silver, don't you even remember? It's a metaphor. Not really. Sorry, I got carried away. I'm quite the gardener myself, you know. I love the different flowers. Orchids, mimosas, peonies, and especially peonies. Your advice is pointless. Or is it? What are you saying? What if I do remove the aphids? Sure, I'm already confused. It's still a metaphor. 
I'll remove the aphids and say nothing to the flower. Thanks, Silver. Hey, neighbour. Henry, sorry, I... Do you want to say, don't worry about those dumbbells or kettlebells. Turns out I miss her. Ruth didn't say I was flabby like a bag of potatoes. She said I was shaggy like a dog from Barbados. So how was your day, buddy? Bye, Henry. <laughs> That's fun. Listen, about the other day, it was a mistake on my part to... Heck yeah, it was. It was a mistake trying to suck up to my mum. I know this actually feels weird, but... I don't think you fully understand, Apu. I'm one of the best fighters in the city. People say my father was even better. So when he gets back from wherever he is, he'll want to know what the aphid is doing devouring his flower. Got it. I'll be honest with you. No, I didn't quite get the metaphor. But more importantly... Do you really think your father's going to turn up after all these years? It's been almost 20 years since... Stop it. Don't get me wrong, I'm just saying, maybe it's time for you and Adri to move on. I said, stop. Of course, every boy needs a father. Maybe I could... That's it. I forbid you from even going close to my mother. And what if I do? I'll show you what happens, Professor Dow. Jai, help! Oh no. Another robbery, little brother. Make him leave. No problem. Oh no. He's big. Oh, he has so much health! 450. What is the secret fighting style of chosen ones who have achieved spiritual enlightenment? Uh. This. What? This guy's insane. I'm sorry. 40 strength. I'm about to get my butt whooped. There's no point in me even using special moves, is there? Jeez. This feels like a guaranteed loss to me. Penetrate. There we go. I mean, don't even, don't even use anything. Just throw punches and see what happens. Because I feel like I'm meant to lose. Good lord. Damn it. <sighs> I'm sorry. I never wanted any of this. Discuss it later with a clear mind. But I need food. My fridge is empty. Poo. Good day, sir. How may I help? Oh. You have some nerve coming here. It was you, wasn't it? You've kidnapped a poo. Confess! I just came for some groceries? What happened? Right after you tried to attack him, right here in the shop, Apu went missing. Really? That's terrible. Terrible coincidence? I don't think so. It wasn't me, seriously. Sure. Let's see what the police have to say. They'll say, rule of the fist fight. So, we know how that'll end, right? There's no need to call the police. I'll find him. You better hurry up. Right now, you're the prime suspect. Where should I start? I don't know. Maybe start with that wet stain on the floor. I thought it was from where you peed yourself when I beat you. But it could be something else. It's not. Looks like a slime puddle. I should ask Bobo. Okay, but in the meantime, can I buy some food? It's been kidnapped, huh? Oh, let's go find out. From Bobo.
Hello, bye bye. Hi, my former slime puncher. Onward and upward, I see. I'm getting by. I'm impressed. What do I owe the visit? When was the last time you saw a poo? The shopkeeper? Not sure. Maybe a week ago. Why? He's missing. Traces of slime were found at the crime scene. What are you saying? I'm gonna find him, Bobo, one way or another. But it's better to cooperate. You don't want to be hiding something. Looks like all the work's paid off. You've become a real slime ball yourself. That runaways you got back from the sewers. Huh? Let's just say it wasn't an isolated case. I hope that's enough cooperation. I have a job to do. The sewers again. No. That runaways you got from the sewers. The runaway slimes? So maybe I should go and ask the resistance. Let me just fast travel to them. I think. I'm not sure why that's flashing. <gasps> Apu, thank god I found you. Wait, is that a body? I can't control it. Run. Oh my god. Head poke. Apu Slime Warchief. Slime Brotherhood. Okay, let's try. Oof. Ah, whoa. Just tentacles flying out of this thing. Okay, throw a double inhale in here. And we'll do meat springing. Wait, no, block. We block, we block, we block. We drop that. Okay. Let's see how that goes. I have so much stamina. That's what I'm worried about. Um, let's throw in a super punch. Let's actually use some of our points here to do a bit more damage. Stop. Oh, I was worried about that happening. Damn it. Come on. You've got enough energy back. Throw some punches. Oh. It's not good. I have to go all out. I have no points left. Great. Let's switch fighting style. Tell your mother goodbye from me. Holy smokes. Can I fight him again? I'm getting you off that weird thing. Okay, I'm just gonna do that. This fighting style that I just did seems to be working. Man. Now we need to get some energy back. Double inhales. Keep throwing the kicks out. Reflecting the damage back on them. It only reflects like 1 and 3 and 5 HP though. I don't think it's even worth it. We are opening them up with these kicks though. Okay, it's pretty close. Throw in just a normal uppercut. 
my energy's kind of low. Still at those points. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm going to drop those out and leave hard-headed. No defenses. Okay, that's better. Picking the right fighting style seems to be really important. Come on, a couple more. Get him. Quickly, you're free. Let's get out of here. If only it was so simple. I'm getting sick of hearing that. What's going on? It's not a thing. It's three slimes in a raincoat. What? They escaped Bobo Farm and hid in my shop. They wanted to run away from the city, but in this form... You mean, headless. In this form, they'd be caught. I agreed to help them. But... Along the way, the plan changed. We realized they shouldn't run away from their homes. They should stand and fight for their freedom. Huh? They must stand and fight. Bobo. All slimes must unite and raise a tentacle to their enslaver. And I will lead the rebellion. Wait a minute, Apu. You, leader of the slime rebellion against Bobo. That's right. You have a shop to watch over your life's work. Your brother Jai, he's worried about you. I think my mom's worried too. Nah, my brother's a good guy. He'd understand and he'll look after the shop. Your mother has a husband. You were right. Apu, I'm... As for my life's work... All my life I've dreamed of adventure. Of life with a whole body. I'm just... How did you say? A head in a jar. Apu, I'm sorry. There's no need to apologize, my friend. But maybe now you will see how important this chance is to me. The chance to mean something. And do something great. See you. I'll remain here and train and make ready for the Slime Rebellion. hey -ya! And I hope you find your father. The sooner the better. You always do. Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye, Apu. Thanks for all the meals. And for scamming me out of so much money. I'll miss you. Did you find him? I'll call the police right now. Relax, Jay. Apu sends you his regards. He's alive. Thank heavens. Where is he? He's... I wonder what would happen if I told him the truth. He's finally living with a whole body. He said you'd understand that you'd look after the shop. My little Apu has grown up, or what our mother have said. Thank you for finding him. Otherwise, I would have cut your head off. Uh, you're welcome, I guess. Oh yeah, still gotta find that other seashell. What am I even... Find that somewhere. Is it in his office? And I didn't see it? Don't see it there. Hmm. Hmm. Where is it? I'm missing a seashell. Please don't tell me it's just somewhere random in the sewer. I feel like I've been everywhere. Come in, make yourself at home. Evening, Master Bill. Ah, sap. Do you smell it? It's pizza time. I guess I'll take a slice. What? Whoa. Nice, huh? What do you put on it, Casey? Chef's secret. Now we can talk. About what? About what the hell's going on here? Did you know Bill once met your father? The years haven't been good to his memory. But I think he can remember something. Ask him. Sorry to bother you, Master Bill. I wanted to ask you about a fighter from the old days. Casey said you used to know him? I remember wearing Great Warrior with the most enormous poopos. What? 
Ooh, she never saw anything like that before. She fought all my brothers and beat every one of them. I was the only one who could do anything against him. And after that, he said to me, Bill, you're the most skillful ninja among the ninja. And the nicest looking crocodile among the crocodile. You're my friend, Bill. That's how it happened. And you formed a lasting friendship? What? No. Around the same time, I got a letter from the School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, and I decided to quit and close it under the stairs and to dedicate myself to magics. Huh? Then came Afghanistan. Served a full tour, no thanks to all the bullets. I spent 14 years in Chateau Duff and trumped up charges, but there I am. Got a radioactive reptile dozing at the bottom of the ocean. Waiting for my fated battle with a large monkey. Oh. Are these plots from different movies? Ah, uh, don't know, my boy. I'm so old, I got a mess where people normally keep their memories. Cosmic Pizza's awesome, isn't it? Sure is. Powerful stuff. Like my brother said. Cowbunga, hold my nunchucks while I deal with the little one. Thanks a lot, Master Bill. Be bold, my boy. Your footsteps remind me of a great warrior. What pupils he had. How did it go? A bit strange, honestly. If a conversation with a talking reptile, I think it went fine. Then sell Bill short. He has a PhD in journalism. Back in the day, he was dating a journalist from Channel 6 or something. April O'Neil. If you have any other questions, now's the time to ask. Why did my father go to a mystery tournament? Oh. It all started with a powerful medallion. Hell only knows how it came to your grandfather. To prevent the medallion from falling into the wrong hands, your grandfather and his friends created the Punch Club. But one day, your grandfather decided he'd use the medallion to protect his kids, your father, and your uncle. He divided the medallion and gave each son half of it. This didn't lead to anything good. A mysterious man in black with a red eye appeared out of nowhere and killed your grandfather. Your father dedicated his life to finding the man in black with the red eye and getting his revenge. He became the coolest fighter in the world and received an invitation to a private elite tournament hosted by the murderer of his father. What happened next? I don't know. You don't know? Nobody knows. How the hell am I supposed to make sense of this punch-tastic story? What is that medallion? Who's the man in black? What happened at the super tournament? Any normal sane person would be asking these questions. You're missing the most important thing. What are you talking about, Casey? The most important thing is... Your old man was a good person, and a great fighter, and he might still be alive. I feel like he is. That's the most important thing. You know what to do. Search all of Upper City till I find him and help him? That's right, boy. And don't be scared to turn the page. Maybe death isn't the end, but only an awakening. Thank you, Casey. And one more thing. Take a bite. I promise, by the time you're done eating it, you'll feel right as rain. Take a bite of the pizza. Taste you cannot describe. What did that do to me? I glitched something out. <gasps> There's the shells! Ah, oh, what I came down here looking for, and then I found a pizza party. Cool. Perfect. That was a nice little story, wasn't it? Let's go turn these shells in. My energy is literally at zero. Here you go. How much am I going to get? What about payment? I probably didn't tell me anything about payment. 
It's a joke. I'm messing with you. Here's your pay. 300. <sighs> I mean, it's something, I guess. Alright. I've got to save another student. Welcome to Robo Fight Club. The first rule of Robo Fight Club is... You do not talk about Robo Fight Club. Second rule of Robo Fight Club is... You do not talk about Robo Fight Club. Correct. Third rule of Robo Fight Club. If someone yells, oh no, my antenna, or blows out their oil pan, the fight is over. Fourth rule, no human combatants, only robots. Fifth rule. Blah, 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 blah. Can we start fighting yet? A newbie. Fifth rule of Robo Fight Club. If this is your first time at Robo Fight Club, you fight first. Oh, you mean me? Uh, right now? Are we gonna warm up? Or like, we'll do something digital, like normal robots. He doesn't sound much like a robot. According to my senses, someone here is frightened and confused. Him. He feels emotion. He is human. I hate humans. System error. Everything is out of order. The fourth rule is broken. Banish the human. Oh yeah. Definitely. Uh, oh no, my antenna? <laughs> you won't fool us again, Meatball. Hope I'm not late. Another human. Our location has been compromised. Sister Mara, everything's out of order. Robo Fight Club is finished. It's not over yet. Not if we don't let these people escape. Don't let these people escape. Look who's talking. What do you mean, flashback? If there's one thing I've learned from watching a bunch of old sci-fi movies with Henry, it's that a cyborg is not a robot. A cyborg is a human with augmentations. Wow, that dude ain't messing around. We've been compromised. System error. What does it all mean? I have an idea. I will punish the fools. Fighting a cyborg. Rescuing yet another misfit from the ghetto. Ready to join my gym. A hero of the people. A regular Robin Hood. I don't... Mm, I should not just carry on, it's fine. Make sure we win. Throw those super punches out there. He's dodging, actually, so I should have changed some of my stuff around. I'm gonna go to a third round. Oof, did some damage there at the end. Okay, you're dodging, so... Faint. And hard-headed. Let's see if we can't put you away. Come on. Oh, dear. Oh, just a lot to sneak. We got him. Yeah, yeah. That's it. What do you say now, Mr. Fake Robot? Oh no, my antenna! Looks like we'll have to just go back to our regular robo jobs. Back to work as a human vacuum cleaner. That is not what I dreamed of as a boy. You saved me. I want to be your student. Wow, it's the coolest place in the world. Here he is, safe, not broken. Hi everyone. What? Who's he? Your cousin? I guess? That's not my cousin, that's just some random dude. But he was at the Robo Fight Club, the robots were gonna punish him, just like you said. My cousin isn't so dumb he'd go there without a disguise. <laughs> 
he would have pretended to be a robot. Probably would have repeated the same phrase like a robot. For instance, something like, system error, everything is out of order. Not much of a disguise. On the bright side, I saved the wrong guy. Hey guys, you're not going to kick me out because of this, are you? That car's not kid. You're in. <sighs> That's pretty funny. I thought you were great. So you in training, Sensei? So the actual robot was, that was disguised was a human. Okay, it is time for the final fight for Division 2. Chappy from the movie Chappy. Uh, Berserker style. So, Rampage. Damage increased 25% when below 25% health. Thirst for revenge. Attack steal 20% more damage. Maybe we do, like, exhausting the torturer. So we, like, exhaust them with blocks. With our iron curtain. And... Superman punches. Now what are you doing? Fair trade. Drop your guard. Enter a furious exchange. Return 40% of incoming damage back onto the enemy. So I guess I don't need to have like a penetrating attack. Study the enemy's movements. Increase chances of a block. And also grab the opponent's leg after a block. Increase energy consumption. So I'm going to try and drain them what we're going to do. Let's see what happens. First time fighting Chappie. Not sure, but has more health than us. We'll see what we can do. Good blocks there. Oh, we're doing really well. It's a great start. Carry on. Have I got this right? We punch for so much. Come on. Nice. We just won the division. First try. Am I not number one now? Surely. I just beat the champ, no? I have to beat them more than once. Pass time and see what happens. Wow, I've used up all of my good green points. I have to get these back now working out. This game kind of makes me want to go in the gym. I say kind of, because I won't, but... Kind of. So wait, signing in. I have to beat them again. I beat them, but it didn't quite make me top. I have to make sure I'm number one. And then we'll see what happens. I'm guessing there's a chapter three, but who knows? It's been a long game. It's been very long. How long have I been playing this for? Let me see. Uh, 17 hours. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm going to be editing. I'm going to be cutting a lot, so much out that's not story. Just so much of me grinding points and sleeping and stuff. But that's a long game, isn't it? I remember the last time I played a game that long? I mean, just do exactly what we did last time. Seemed to work for us. This should be the champ. Da, 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 da. Night, night, chappy. Or oh, chippy. Oh. Chapter three. Like a champ. Take it like a champ. Do you know which fighter is blowing everyone's mind? Wait, wait, don't say anything. It's you, can you believe that? I can believe it. Ha, <laughs> chin up, my boy. You can already see the lights of Upper City on the horizon. Become absolute champion. In case you hadn't noticed, I'll tell you one more thing and listen to me carefully. What? When you win second division in my league, you're a legend. Thanks. Listen first. 
There was Spider-Man in the background. <clears throat> but when you get in the first division, you're among the legends, understand? That doesn't mean you're the greatest. It means you're surrounded by people who, well, you know, <laughs> can draw you into hunk chunk. I got it. As of this moment, 11 of the city's best fighters stand between you and your ticket to Upper City. Keep it tight. <laughs> I can't do these voices anymore. My throat is shredded. Yes, Vince McMahon. Shut up. Let me go punch some heads. Among the legends. I wonder who's in the next fight league. <gasps> there we go. Nick Stoneballs. Kazuma. Claudius. Some dude. Mad Mad. It's me. Mr. Cyborg. Undercover Robot. Mr. Blue. Desperado. Half Naked. Brad. And Jax is number one. For the Ultimate Division 1. Well. We'll see how quickly we can rise the ranks. Hey everybody, come on, gather round. I want to tell you something. Well, I gotta say, I don't remember how I died. I think I fell asleep on the couch in my closet. I got eaten by rats. Oh wait, it wasn't rats. The rats would have stolen my wallet. Wouldn't have. In any case, my life did not end gloriously. But I remember how I woke up. First thing I saw was you, kid. And thanks to you, we're surrounded by what we see here now. When you brought me back, it was too disgusting to even take a crap in this gym. Now it's bright, and I'm presuming it's also warm. And that's all these people here do. I can't feel. Made a light. This place has brought them together, given their life meaning. Even on the most depressed, dirtiest streets of this city, hope is alive. Oh my god, this is unbearable. Damn, dude, this is so boring. Does he think we're immortal? We could just listen forever. Mick, I think we tamed a bunch of jerks. Maybe. But who among us hasn't been a jerk at least once in a while? What was it your master told you? One day he came up to me, looked at me intently, got all silent for a while. And then he said, now you are the master. And then he ran away. I never saw him again. To be honest, I didn't understand the wisdom in that lesson or whether there was any at all. As you can see, I'm not running anywhere. Because you're a hologram. Yeah. But when I look at you and see everything you've done, kid, I can't help but quote my master. Now you are the master. Like Kenobi, goal complete. You have reached significant heights in your work. I wouldn't have made it down the road without you, but you know. You really could work on telling stories faster. Tell it to Scorsese. Yeah, you really could, especially when I gave you that voice, mate. Now you can meditate. Use the new meditation mat in your closet. I wonder what meditation does. Takes my rage up. Wow, that's cool. So I finished the gym storyline. I'm now a master, I think. Let me see. Yep. Became a master. Master of the people. So now I need to... Ah, yeah, I need to go to the junkyard. Okay. So there's been robots showing up in the league. I've skipped over a bunch here because it's not that interesting. There's like... <laughs> chapter 3 is a grind. Oh my god, I've been grinding, 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 just getting strong enough to beat the people that are in that league. It's insanely difficult. Um, and i got to go and ask these guys about a robot that showed up, pretending to be a human. Get the robot factory and clean the place up now. Got you, boss. Hey, karate kid, hello. What are you doing at the robo factory? Eh, uh, nothing, just little Shabotnik. It's what we call cleaning. Uh, what brings you to us? <laughs> Look in the background. A robot tried to fight in the pro league as a human. It's against the rules. 
Do you know why? Yeah, why the heck should I know? Because you're in charge of the robots. That's right. But even I can't keep track of all the robots. So you can't help me? Afraid not. But... Huh? I can give piece of advice in this world, in this city especially. You need to listen to others and not mess up, because if you mess up, very soon you'll be written off as scrap, and then you'll be on your own. Listening to Evanescence, crying like a sucker. <laughs> what did you just say? I said you'll be crying like a sucker. No, about Evanescence. I've heard that name somewhere before. Huh? The cheating robot. He said the same thing. No one else in the world remembers Evanescence. You've just been caught. Answer me. What are you up to? Uh, we? Nothing. This is much bigger than you and me. If you don't want to answer, we'll take you, a pseudo-human robot, and go right to the bo- Wait a minute. If you mess up, very soon you'll be written off as scrap. There's no Sabotnik at the Robo Factory, is there? You're going to destroy the robot to cover your tracks. Wake me up. <laughs> wake me up inside. Can't wake up. Wake me up inside. Save me. It's so weird. That was your last screw up, Robo Fool. Huh? Late for what? For the Sabotnik, I guess. Ah, uh, so, did you manage to find out anything? That's bring me back to Robo Life. That's all that's left of a poor fake human robot. But now we know for sure the Mafia is involved. If only we knew how. Mr. Barry, does that mean we're out of leads? I'm afraid so. Like my old man used to say, always be on the lookout. Yeah, it's like this really random little plotline of like robots showing up in the league, but it hasn't really gone anywhere. So I'm probably I'll probably cut all of it out because it's just been fight after fight, trying to win the league basically and finish the game at this point. But it has become a grind, which a lot of lazy bear games do become a grind. Um, I also need to give him this pizza. No way! Where did you get it? Drove to Crete and back, how else? <laughs> Thank you, my boy. The past few days have been stressful. I think I can afford to relax a bit. Damn, I can't wait to try it, like the good old days. And getting him pizza for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> None of these plots are going anywhere. I'm just training and doing little gathering quests that don't have any story associated with them. But I want to finish the game now. I've come this far with it. We need to finish it. I, I want to see the ending. Um, so I've completed the gym quest line, and I think now I just need to win the league. Like, uh, walk around the city in a single day, return to Silver, like that's just a side quest. Become absolute champion and get to upper city, like that's the last thing to do. So I'm just going to train, 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 and see what happens. Wait, what's happening with the romance story? Where was that? The resistance, like that hasn't gone anywhere either, has it? With the girl? Maybe it does when you get to Upper City and win the league? I'm confused. She doesn't seem to be here anywhere. Anyway, let's win the league. And then we'll see. Okay, a bit of training, a lot of passing the time. Let's do another fight in between to make some money. Let's see if things have improved for us as we try again. The strategist. And let's see. I'm wondering if maybe I block instead of meat spring. Um, and see what happens. Maybe I become a sponge. And add a block calculator. And also his energy is quite low, so we're going to grapple. And I'm going to try to drain his energy. I'm going to grab him when I block. Um, grab him after a kick. Grab his hand. And we'll try and drain his energy out. Before I drain mine. Mine's a lot higher, so we'll see. Maybe this is the way to go with this guy. So we've already got his energy down a lot. 
halfway from that little flurry. It, that should be it, really. We should be able to take this home. If he doesn't get my energy first. Got him. Am I the champ? Is that enough? Or do I have to beat him again? Let's see. <clears throat> oh, there we go. Finally. Chapter three and a half. Oh. Down memory lane. Where's my ending? Well, my boy, that was just devastating. You're my destroyer, man. My depollution, man. I think we can stop here. Sure, sorry. I get emotional. What now? Moving on up? Up a city? Fulfill all your dreams? Sure. I might be able to find some information about my father. I'll go to the digital archives and find out what happened. Enviable determination, my boy. By the way, Upper City, your past is in the works. You just need to do a little paperwork. Does he huff money? He just huffs the smell of money. Ah, oh, let's get some donuts. What's with these donuts? Why send me chasing after them and then pretend you don't understand what I'm talking about? I'm not leaving until you explain this donut bullshit. Alright, I'll tell you. It's a password. For what? My old friend who works at the shop. Jai is your old friend? Not Jai, the janitor. The old deaf jerk who stands there all the time. The group doesn't always pay attention, but donuts is the password we agreed on. Why couldn't you just send me to him? Why all the spy nonsense? He's a suspicious man. It's the only way he'd talk to you. He has something important to me. Very important. I'll help you. One last case. After that, I'm taking my pass and I'm going to Upper City. Talk to the janitor at the shop. Okay. What's this gonna be? Hi, Jai. Can I have donuts, please? With perfect timing. I just put out some fresh ones. I said... Donuts. That's right, and I said, I need some donuts, please. Regular plain old donuts. With a hole in the center, all the cops love them. This guy needs a few candies. How do you know the password, kid? Uncle Barry sent me. And how does your uncle know him? He's not my, whatever. He said you have something important to him. I think you must mean this mysterious GPP chip. GPP chip? But whose is it? My dead partner. We worked together in the police. The Hollow Cops? Where did you get- what's his name? Philip Kindred Dick. Philip K. Dick, the author. The best cop this city ever saw. Best partner. Who wrote Android- Do Androids Dream of Electric? Sheep. Which Blade Runner is based on? What happened with your partner? He got involved in some stuff and disappeared. All that was left of him was this chip, laying bloody in the streets. Could he have survived? I don't know, kid. Too much time's passed. You're an ex-cop. No such thing as an ex-cop, kid. But you're a janitor now. It's just a cover. I'm on a mission. What's the mission? Satisfy the curiosity of a little punk. Why the hell would I tell you? Where'd you get the chip? Before I left the police, I stole it from evidence. What case was it from? The goddamn secret case, kid. They said it was a safety issue that affects the whole city. Don't know about the city, but the evidence fault was wrecked. Burned down days after that. Tell me, even if you are Barry's nephew, why the hell should I give you this chip? Because I knew the password. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Bring the chip to Barry. Is Barry, like, gonna be the bad guy? I don't understand what's happening at all. How'd it go? I got the chip. Good, how's Glenn? He's on a mission. Oh, Glenn. 
Why do you need a chip from some dead cop? I need to know what he knew. How are we going to manage that? I don't know. Hack the chip somehow. Should we ask Bobo? Ask little Bobo about chip hacking. At the abandoned house, I would assume, from 10 o'clock. Let me go pass some time running around and go ask. I really hope this isn't like super long, honestly. I kind of want to get to the ending at this point and get into Upper City. It's been a long one. Up here. Okay. Let's see at the farm. Can you hack this for me? Can you walk into the middle of the station and take a whiz? The answer is no, you can't, unless you want to be locked up for your entire life. Is there anyone who can? Don't get me wrong, dude. It's one thing to hack GPP software. It's different to hack the chip itself. Why is that? corporation developed them in complete secrecy. And I've got to say they did a great job. They made this thing just impenetrable. No backdoors. Years have passed and still nobody knows how these chips work. The one thing we do know, as soon as you try to hack it, they send a squad of dudes in helmets right towards you. Two things we can do. Scratch the doggy behind the ear while you're trying to bang it. What? For my preference, don't try and bang the dog. Bobo doesn't know. What about... Um, ah, go to the old garage to contact Carla. Okay, I was going to say the old scientist, but... Hi, Ma. Come in. Carla, can you hear me? I'm here. I heard you're the champion of everything now. That's right. I'm one step away from Upper City. Congrats. First I managed, I agreed to help my manager with something. What thing? Hack a GPP chip? Holy moly, kid's up to some serious mayhem. Do you know how to do it? Little Bobo said this thing can't be hacked or opened. People always want to go right through. Maybe we can't open it, but we can scan it. How? Need a memory scan device. Where can we get one? Let's try to make it ourselves. We need to build the scanner device. That can be done by an experienced mechanic. Sounds like a job for Dynamo. Second, we need the software. Someone who understands the legal software. Bobo? And then we need a scanning algorithm. Any domestic android will do. Do you know any? Lotus. Contact me when you have everything. No need to thank me yet. Okay. Goal complete. Banging the doggy. Okay. Good doggy. Let's, um, get the robo stuff while it's open. Okay, so chapter three and a half has pretty much been me, um, putting together this scanning device with the help of the resistance. It's like, I've skipped it because it's just been three side missions where I had to run here, fight someone, collect something, run here, fight someone, collect something. Wasn't that interesting. Um did get the robot in the scientist's place. A ro she wanted a robot boyfriend. Um, just little missions like that, but nothing was too great, honestly. But now we're going to put together the pieces that we recovered. Carla, come in. I'm here. Is everything ready? Yes, that's everything we need to build the device. Great. Let's try it out then. The room is ablaze with sparks. A low female voice smoothly gives instructions. Hello. Lines of code run through the hero's fingers until finally it is done. We did it. Uh, not really. There's still the hardest part. Installing the drivers. Damn it. The room is ablaze with swearing. A perplexed female voice haltingly gives instructions. Symbols beyond meaning run through the hero's fingers. Until finally, it is done. For sure this time. That's it? Yes. 
Okay. Oop. How do I use it? You need to understand something about GPP chips. The chip is a device designed to replace fragments of your brain. Mostly these fragments are responsible for memory. The chip stores the person's memories. Yep, anything that happened while that person had their chip. So if a person lost their chip, no chip means no memory for that period of time. Let's get down to business. With this device, we can scan anyone's chip. In order to scan a chip, you need to get close to it. You can't scan all of a person's memory at once, just exactly what you need. You need to remind the person about something. Find a way to trigger the memory. Sounds simple. Are you ready to find out what's on this mysterious chip? Definitely. But on the other hand, there's a lot of open questions. The city has problems with poisoned noodles, strange robots. And there's the exploitation of the slimes, the monopoly on deliveries. Come to think of it, I might actually be able to get the real truth out of silver. Are you still there? Come in. Sorry, I was just thinking. Gotta go. Okay, so basically that's giving us the side quests like finish these before you do this, right? But we're just gonna... I've done 100% up to this point. We're gonna go through with the ending and see what happens. So let me see what it says. We have... There you go, down memory lane. Oh, this is actually what I'm doing. Scan the chip at the police station. Find out about Bobo's Enterprise. Poison noodles, robot production. How the delivery manager got his son a job. Okay, well, let's do the police station. Police? Well, if it's a dead cop's chip, they'll definitely have memories connected to the police station. But like, what are you doing, son? Cool. Get those slow feet moving, rookie. Time to get some donuts for your superiors. I thought we were gonna do some serious business, sir. Really? And I'd hope they might send someone more executive. Such is life, rookie. You wanted to do serious things, I wanted someone better. But we both have to tolerate what we're given. So come on now. Raspberry jam for me. Yes, sir. Wait, was that the hollow sergeant? The second cop looked familiar. Uh, it looked like an early memory. Let's try again. This is cool. Glad we're getting back into some story stuff. Here we go again. You've been with us for three years and you still can't follow the simplest orders. I've told you a thousand times, raspberry jam. One day he brings in donuts with the wrong toppings. Another day instead of a normal pizza, he's got one with pineapple. With an attitude like that, you'll be working overtime on paperwork. Do you understand me, officer? Yes, sir. Pineapple. Worse than sabotage. I like pineapple pizza. Don't be upset, Philip. You're a great cop. You do spend all your time on paperwork and useless patrols. And you're not running errands for the sergeant. They're almost like special missions. <laughs> Thanks, Glenn. Only you understand me. Calm down, partner. Your time will come. Hmm. Wesley Snipes has been sat there for 20 hours. Let's try one more time. What can I say? Nicely done, you sneaky bastard. How did you manage to put the Don in jail? Just doing my job, sir. Looks like I'll have to start calling you detective soon. Thank you, sir. Big honor. What did you say your full name is? Philip Kindred Dick, sir. I'll just call you K, K, K. And you can call me Martin. Thank you, Martin. It's K's backstory. This is K's chip. Wait a minute. So is he dead? Well, hello. Oh, hi. Looking for something. Uh, just came by to see the life I passed up. That's a good thing. By all means, take a look. 
I'll bring you a list of privileges available to a police officer. You'll die of envy. Don't go anywhere. I need to know the last case Kay was investigating. Working late again. Seems like I'm the only one who actually does anything around here. Good evening. This is Pharmacom Industries. I have an amazing offer for you. Lady, I've told you a thousand times. I'm not interested in insurance. Well, why not? Anything could happen. Besides... Damn pharmaceutical crooks. Sorry, officer, can you help me? Do you have an emergency? There's a hotline for that. I'm looking for boyfriend. There's a hotline for that, too. For my boyfriend. He's been gone for a week, but please... Miss, listen, I know you're worried, but believe me. We're doing everything we can. That's all I've been hearing for past week. Operators won't even tell me who's working case. Please help. Who are we looking for? Karl Hauser. Here's a picture. Any enemies? No. Not much to go on. He mentioned some club a few days before disappear. Hmm. Was that Dynamo? I found some kind of clue. Let's hope they were talking about the club I'm thinking. Ooh. The plot a thickens. Here we have a catalogue of new apartments and a permit to carry. Where did that little loser go? He must have run away in tears. <laughs> Hollow cop, hollow cop. To the club. Let's see if Case Chip remembers this place. I'm so ecstatic to get back into story because it's been. I can't tell you how many hours I've been training and fighting to get to this point now. <laughs> it's like crazy. Starved of story. You're welcome. Please do hit the like for my efforts. It's taken me forever. I'm sorry. You look familiar. Have we met? Good afternoon. You're Carl, right? Not really. Listen, I don't have time for jokes. Your girlfriend's worried about you. Girlfriend? Is this man bothering you, Schmal? Schmal? That's the best alias you could come up with for Carl. Uh, I don't know what he wants. Officer, are you under orders to question my staff? I was just asking my buddy a few innocent questions. Do you or do you not? In that case, I must ask you to leave. I think some mad scientist who knows about memory tricks can help me. Totally not recalled. I think I've seen this kind of memory loss before. I bet anything he's talking about Emmett. Emmett? To the dream lab. Hi there. Say what you must and leave. I'm not in the mood. It's just I read that a person's IQ grows while in the company of smart people. So here I am, a fool, hoping to stand by your side. I get it. Don't take it so hard. It's your DNA from conception, doomed to a Forrest Gump-like existence. Yeah. At least you're strong, dumb but strong. Yep. Kind of like an Urukai, not just a simple orc, you know. Uh-huh. Stay as long as you like. Poor stupid boy. You can't beat the elderly, you can't beat the elderly, you can't beat... Let's find out what happened. Titanic hand. But make it horror. Oh, the real human being returns. Not funny. What's the problem? I think it's hysterical. After that prank, come back on pills. They make those for non-biological replicants. Yeah, yeah. Kay spent a week terrified he wasn't human. I'm so clever. I move on. I need some advice. You never learn, do you? Unfortunately, there aren't any other experts in science or memory around here. Besides, this is about your latest invention, which everyone in the whole city now has inside their heads. It's getting serious. 
There's a guy who may or may not have been kidnapped and brainwashed. Brainwashed how? I can't remember his own name or his girlfriend. Sounds like commitment issues. I'm pretty sure his blank stare points to something sinister. What's his name? Carl Hauser. Let me check. I actually had a patient with a similar problem. You're also a doctor. If the pay's right, I'll walk your dog. Here's the address. It's some place in the tower. Thanks. Okay. Poor boy. To the tower. All around the town. Up to Carl's dress. Making my way downtown. Okay, this seems to be the place. Sorry to bother you. Can I ask you a few questions? Weird. Door's not locked. Oh no. Carl? This is the police. Come up with your hands up. You dirty old. It was a trap. A patient with similar problem, my ass. I repeat, you're surrounded, doomed, and worthless. And it's gonna pay if I can get out of this. Think. Good afternoon from Pharmacom Industries. Damn lady, your timing sucks. We suggest you relax and prepare for a beating. What's that? Looks like part of a burnt-out Russian loader. Why is it here? Why was it destroyed? Maybe if I can get to the junkyard, I'll get answers. Don't forget the painful urination afterwards. We'll be going right for the kidneys. Oh, yeah. A fire escape. So if I can escape across rooftops. At least it's going to be an exciting pursuit. Here goes nothing. Emmett set K up. What happened to Carl? K's next stop was the junkyard. Let's check it. To the junkyard. What was the trash loader for? Blink. Oh god, it's Friday. On the run, knee deep in trash. The perfect plan for the weekend. In a way, I just got lucky. This plate is a perfect match for what I found at the crime scene. Even the serial number's intact. If I still had police access, I could find where the last shipment was sent. It's only one person in the whole precinct I can still trust. Isn't it too risky to get him involved? All or nothing. Ooh, maybe this is why Holocop became Holocop. <gasps> then the people got him and turned him into Holocop like the lady. What's going on? Why are they trying to frame you? That's what I'm trying to find out. Can you run a serial number for me? Send it over. Be quick. This line won't be secure much longer. This load is fast shipment. Last shipment was to a slime farm. When? Last Friday. I'll probably have a new one scheduled today. Need me riding shotgun? I'm the one who got framed, pal. I don't want you risking your neck. I promise you won't follow me. I promise. I'll see you on the other side. Ah, oh, Hollow Cop was a good guy. I'll visit Slime Farm. <clears throat> what are you doing here? Too late. Too late, damn it. Slime Farm. Let's find out what happened. <coughs> is it just me or does it feel cramped in here? It's always cramped when you're in the room, Bobo. Shut up, Hammond. Good evening, gentlemen. I'm glad you could all make it. Every single one of you has played a crucial role in my boss's success. He wishes to thank you all accordingly. Yes, where is he? 
Unfortunately, something has come up. I'll be his representative today and in the foreseeable future. And what's the point of meeting in a warehouse in the middle of the night? You could have just sent a thank you note. True, but can a note do this? Oh my god. My boss is very thankful. That's why you're all in such high-ranking positions across the city. But as you can see, no one is irreplaceable. I love meeting in warehouses in the middle of the night. Wow. After a series of tragic experiments, my boss has discovered a way to work with memories. Tragic experiments? Carl is dead! I agree. It was an unpleasant situation, but as you can see, we don't really need anyone's compliance anymore. The Russian Mafia will join us, even if we have to turn every single one of you into holograms. They're trying to frighten us. We survived a lot worse. I surrender. What? How dare you? Sorry, Borya. You can't fight that kind of tech. We'll see about that. Who's that? Don't worry. I don't know what hole he'll be hiding in. Dynamo. No more trips to the police behind my back, right? What's the difference? Police work for you anyway. Worse and worse news today. Goddamn Pharmacom Industries. Who's there? Come out or we will shoot. I'll detect if you'll move. You're all under arrest. Ah, the honorable detective. What a night. All the loose ends tied up in one neat little package. I don't know what miracle you were hoping for, but this is the only one you've got coming. <gasps> it was an honor. Now that's an interesting development. Since it's been such an honor, it's not my place to end your partnership. Your first task, my faithful holocop, is to find Kay and bring him to me. I suspect he ran for the town ghetto where most rats go. And that's how he became holocop. Going somewhere. Same old K, as difficult as always. You don't get to say that. I only want what's best for you. I'm your friend, K. My friend died today, protecting me. You're just wearing his skin. Sorry you feel that way, but where exactly are you running to? City's too small for you to hide from the corporation. The corporation, or that killer mutant, or maybe the gangs. Oh wait, they're all the same thing. You know full well that you won't last a week on the outside. Obviously, you have only two options. Make peace with what you've seen, return to the police, or we'll do it for you. Those are the easy options. I've always had a hard, I've always been a hard case. You can't make my hologram without a chip. Taking it out would kill you. Might just be severe brain damage, no biggie. Even if a small part of the real Martin remains somewhere deep inside here. Tell him. I'm sorry. All those goddamn donuts without the raspberry jam. That was pretty cool. Holy... All these people and... Even the police work for that monster. I better tell Uncle Barry. <clears throat> Uncle Barry, I found out what happened. Tell me everything. And he told him everything. That's pretty much how I imagined it. Well, I have something to tell you too, my boy. Did you? 
gut, Uncle Barry. Relax, kid. Uncle Barry never existed. What? I made him up for cover. Found myself wandering through dirty streets in a big black hole where my memories for the last eight years were supposed to be. The league, your office, everything. As a matter of fact, it was you who led me here. Huh? When we first met, you were so charged up to win all the tournaments, I figured with all the advertising and TV, we could stand to make some real money. Seems like it worked out. The biggest league in the city is a startup? Like I told you, my father and I watched wrestling on TV when I was a kid. I just remembered one of the head morons, and I kind of got used to the role. But that's not what we should be worrying about right now. We're talking about the feds. Yeah, and about this big-headed bastard in charge of them. Who is he? <clears throat> that's the right question, kid. Got you, thanks. The feds are headed here into a residence in the southwest part of the city. But how did they track us? What's that beeping in my pocket? Oh, it's your badge key. I told you to throw it away. Sorry. Residence in the southwest part of the... Mom! Go there. Save her. What about you, Kay? Don't worry, kid. I can take care of myself. Run. Come on, you bastards. I'll remember it for you wholesale. We can remember it for you wholesale as a Philip K. Dick book. I think. Really? And where do you think you're going? Where's my mum, you big-headed bastard? Look at him. Bravo. Even with his back against a corner, he's ready to fight to the last. Who is that? The lion. Just like your old man. You just confess that you're involved in the disappearance of my parents. You're done, mutant. I'm much more than that. Here's what's gonna happen now, master. You're either coming with... Get down! Hurry up! Is it the girl? Is it Henry? Who is it? Car- Car- Carla is a car? Carla! Oh my god. That makes sense. Holy smokes, that was a real car chase. Carla, stop the car. I mean, stop yourself. We have to go back for my mom. Sorry, we can't. If they do have her, it's a trap. But where are we going then? The resistance base, of course. It's like Knight Rider. Our leader wants to meet you. <gasps> Who's the leader gonna be? The real resistance? Maybe Henry? Maybe our dad? Look around, from this moment on, everything is real. The resistance, the threat, the war. Like they say, welcome to the real world. It looks sad. What happened here? Nuclear war. That's what happened. Or as we called it, the catastrophe. No one knows who pulled the trigger, but when the dust from nuclear mushrooms settled, all that was left outside the city was a scorched desert. Everything that left inside the city belongs to corporation. They established total control, chipped almost everyone. The rest had no choice but leave. There came the resistance. No kiddo, they all died. Look around, this place is goddamn hell. What could do such a thing? Robots. Thousands and thousands of them. The corporation develops them, sends them to kill us. 
Why are they doing this? Because of power. Because of control. Because they don't tolerate freedom. If it weren't for our leader and Frank, we'd have been dead a long time ago. Carla, you're a car. Yeah, it's cool, right? Who are these guys, Frank? Leader's cool but tough. Life's taken a toll on him. He knows a lot about you. He's been looking forward to meeting you. As for Frank, Frank is just... Frank. You'll see. Why don't people in the city say anything about the war? We have a theory, but we're not sure. Maybe they're using the GPP chips to plant false memories. It's just a theory. By the way, we're almost there. Welcome to the Resistance Base. You're on your own from here. I thought you'd go with me. I can't. I can't go face first through another door today. My bumper wouldn't take it. Nice bumper, by the way. Very stylish. Thanks. Don't worry, you won't be alone. Your old friend's waiting for you. This is a big moment. People say that if anyone can save us, it's you. Who's my old friend? <gasps> Casey. How are you doing, kid? How did you get here? Come on. I'll explain on the way. They're waiting for us. Are you in the resistance? It's just say I've kept in touch with them since your father disappeared and the catastrophe happened. Someone had to stay in the city. I nearly got to Upper City. I was finally going to find out what happened. Calm down. That's exactly where you're going. That's exactly... Have a little patience. The leaders of the resistance tell you everything. <laughs> the text's really fast here. Who are the leaders? Carla said one of them knows a lot about me. You know, I'm a pretty tough guy, but I get to tell you, Frank just makes me smile. As for the guy who knows a lot about you, that's probably what you expect when it comes to your uncle. Uncle Barry, but... No, I mean your real uncle. But Frank, he's a real one. Come on, you'll see for yourself. What is this? I thought being in the resistance meant living on the brink of extinction. No judge, kid. Everyone needs to relax. Whiskey with soda. We don't have soda on the brink of extinction. Huh? Are you kidding, handsome? This is my favorite Muse song. Remember, baby, if you're listening to this, you are the resistance. That's your dad's brother, kid. He's in charge here. Hello, nephew. Time to kick Mick's cat in his filthy tail, right? To be honest, I don't understand what you're talking about at all. You didn't tell him? You didn't tell me what? I thought you wanted to tell him. All on me again. Alright, nephew, listen. By your grandfather's wishes, Mick gave your father a medallion. But Mick also had a cat, Fluffy. And while Fluffy lived next to this medallion, he changed. <laughs> That's amazing. Later, Fluffy got to live with your father, where the poor animal learned all about human irresponsibility. Fluffy, no. <laughs> Fluffy, no. And in the darkness under the couch, cold and hungry, the feline's hatred of humanity grew. Fluffy wised up. He became more clever than the most dangerous criminal in the world. He became an evil genius. But your dad, the Dark Fist, crushed the evil genius, aka Fluffy. He thought the trouble would end there. But the trouble was only just beginning. In the meantime, your dad and I have spent our days searching for our father's killer. I found the one who killed our father. But then, when we finally got to our father's killer... Some unexpected stuff happened. I am your father. What the f... <gasps> Fluffy. Bad kitty. Brother, wait, what just happened? You nasty fluffy bastard. 
Can someone please explain to me? That's the moment it began. A catastrophe. From the ashes, the corporation rose. The only thing I could do was go on the run and resist. I'm so glad I finished this game. This ending is amazing. Is that what's behind the mighty corporation? Some evil cat? <laughs> the worst thing you can do before a fight is underestimate your minute. And she's gonna. You're right, Casey. Underestimate your enemy! Indeed. And actually, we call it the cat paration. Because I got it. Hence the catastrophe. I got it. That's how I spent the next 20 years. Figure out why the bastard took your father, where he's keeping him. Don't know what I would have done without Frank. He's the one who came up with all the cat puns. Cat poration. It's hilarious. Frank has a plan to get to that tail licking bastard and overthrow his empire. Save my parents? That too. Now you're here, we have everything we need to put Frank's plan into action. Follow me. It's showtime. So references in here. We got Blues Brothers. We've got Matrix. Who's that woman on the throne? That's exactly what I was about to ask. Who is that? Just for show. I don't know where she's from. She looks like she's from like Five All Goes West or something. Make yourself at home. This is Frank Frank. This is my nephew. A dolphin? It's a fish. Show some respect. It's a cybernetic dolphin whose mind's connected directly to the internet. Not to mention the dark web and the WTF net. Long story short, Frank is the best hacker in the world. He's just the guy we need to hack up a city. Plus, he's my best friend. He said he came up with a name for the operation. Catharsis. I love this guy. You just said hack up a city. How can you hack a whole city? You didn't tell him anything. Didn't want to spoil the fun. Up a city isn't a city. It's a program. Or a cage. A virtual reality program where your father's being kept. We don't know how, but we know every program can be turned off somehow. In this case, like the classic song, From the Inside. Rest in peace, Chester. Frank says he can get you in. Little Lincoln Park shout out. R.I.P. indeed. Makes me sad all the time. You'll find the switch that turns off the simulation. And then... Then your father will be free, and the cat will get... I don't want to punch a cat, dude. Even if they did wipe out humanity. We'll seize the moment by starting the true rebellion. An old front's kid, every goddamn hole. You ready or not? Sure. Let's do it. Buckle your seatbelt, Dorothy, because Kansas is going bye-bye. Prepare yourself. On the plus side, Frank can upload all the martial arts in the world for you. Not bad. We need to take a memory dump of you in case you screw up. Screw up? Everyone we send out screws up. You have a special bond with your father and you're a tough fighter, so who knows. Here we go. Dump engaged, ready to dive. Remember, it's a simulation. You can't believe literally anything. That cat? It's not just a cat anymore. It's a beast. Satan and fur. Moriarty with a moustache. Be careful. <clears throat> By any means, at any cost, shut down that program. What if I... ...was adopted? <laughs> I love this kind of vibe. <laughs> I know it's, like, very popular now, but I actually kind of, like, have stuff like this on my wall behind me. Like, different game aesthetics and movie stuff's on it. <clears throat> and this was kind of like my stream loading screen for a while. Ooh, Metal Gear Solid. Welcome to Apacito. I'm afraid you'll never get to that teller now. Why not, Cap? I'll crush every minion you put in my path. I thought so too, so I prepared for this. I've started you. You're strong, but you can't make difficult decisions. You can't sacrifice the ones you care about. You can't sacrifice someone who did something important for you. Someone who brought you food. 
What's he talking about? Apu? Oh, the delivery guy. Hello, beached thing. What are you doing here? Just wanted to make sure you screw up. Why do you hate me so much? You took from me the most precious thing I had. My deliveries! If you loved your job so much, why did you do it so horribly badly? It's better you let me tell you a story. It's about two of the most ancient tools in the history of mankind. The rope and the stick. The rope is for pulling good things in, the stick to drive away the bad. And now I'll make the last and most important delivery of my life. I'm going to take both of those tools and shove them up your... That's not going to happen. Okay, so I'm going to have to like fight through some bosses. Right, you're doing a torturous style, so I will switch to my... Um... Smasher style. <clears throat> and that should get you done. I feel like this is going to be a who's who a run through of different bosses, like every kind of uh, thing. Come on, come on, come on. Don't let him get you. Nice. Deliver that, you infantile moron. Gold. I mean, silver. Hi, my best friend's son. An unexpected twist, right? It's funny how much one energy bar can change a person's life. Why are you here? Why are you dressed like that again? I like the style, and I'm tired of lurking in the shadows. Silver, I mean gold, what are you talking about? You're always laughing at me, always mocking, you and your father. That old fool Silver, he lost the magic medallion. So the old Silver, banging the neurotrainers. Gilda, I mean sold, I never said anything like that. Enough. All I ever wanted was to be friends with cool guys like you. But now I'm the cool guy. Me. Because for beating you, I was promised a position in the mayor of Upper City. A bunch of sodas. But that's less important. Silver, you old fool. Upper City doesn't exist. Soda does. <laughs> okay, what are you doing? Old school boxing. So, a lot of blocking. Maybe I go with the same... I can actually, like, reduce my power there for some reason. Oh, wait, I can rearrange stuff. Oh, crazy. Um, let's try this. I mean, I just did one against blocking for that reason, so... Let's see how it goes. Seems to be going pretty well. Glad I'm pretty well trained. I think my stats are quite high. Hopefully we don't run into, like, some insane boss, but... Down goes Silver. I wonder who else he'll put up against me. Oh no, man, not you. Hey, dude. Seems your first great rival will be your last. I thought you wanted to dedicate your life to good things. I thought so too, ma'am, but they took my father. You said you hated him. I did, but they were going to digitize Bobo. Turn him into Pac-Man, make him eat his own craps forever. It's cruel. But I couldn't let that happen, so here we are. Standing on the edge of a digital wasteland like some Daft Punk video. Deciding whose dad will live and who will die. Sorry, ma'am. I've got a mission here. I don't envy your father. And what's your thing? Dodging. So for dodging, we switch to Flycatcher. That's my style for doing the dodges. Hopefully. The third act was really a rough ride on this, but the ending here is pretty cool. So I'm really glad I carried on with the game, actually. And we'll get this put out as a finished thing. I was very close numerous times during that third act of being like, all right, that's it. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> you know? It's hard. But we did it. That feels good. Interesting. You ruthlessly cram the faces of those who fed you. Maybe this time it won't be as predictable. 
show yourself, you sneaky little mouth. Don't worry, it will move very, very soon. Hidden. Hey, baby. As I was said, time to teach you a lesson. Not so fast. <laughs> How did my pause the thing that will stop you? You're gonna stop me with an old console. First, I downloaded the fighting skills of the greatest fighters of the city. And now, with its help, I'll be able to control this giant robot. Time to bend some iron. I do be the bender. Trained on hundreds of best fighters, it's completely invincible almost. Oh man, it has some stata runings. 982 energy, good lord. Impenetrable block. I guess I do the blocking one, I do the uh, smasher. Oof. This is gonna be rough. Oh my god, I'm hitting for so little. Oof. Come on, fire back, champ. What are you doing? <sighs> Our energy's pretty good. Maybe take out one of the recoveries, throw in another super punch. And... I have infinite, like, special moves, so maybe I'm going to drop the meat spring. Oh wow, like everything is unlocked. Everything's unlocked. The opponent better give it everything he's got. Attacks under 11 damage are ignored. Let's go damage tolerance. Is there a better block than sponge? Living armor. Block damage is reduced based on your stamina. Okay. Successful block returns part of the damage to the enemy. I mean, give it a go. I don't know if you haven't practiced with any of these moves, but... Oh, this guy's crazy. We are fighting back, but I'm a bit worried. I am a bit worried. Maybe we should change... I don't know if the long battle against the world defended enemy... I mean, it seems like it's the way to go, but I'm also wondering if we go Berserker and just fire everything with damage tolerance to ignore attacks under 11. 25% of damage received is recovered as energy. Drop your guard, full brawl. Return 60% of incoming damage onto the enemy. Oh, it's tempting to try something like that. I'm never going to drain their energy. They have 657 left. Sure, maybe leave a block just in case. But do I have, like, all of the bigger moves unlocked as well, then? I do. Look, Hadouken. Wow. I need to, like, do some better things here. Shockwave. I need to do all of... Probably gonna use my energy, but I mean, let's see what the big moves are like. Another Hadouken at the end. Actually, do a breather. I need to keep a little bit of energy, I think. I wonder if I'm actually gonna do a Hadouken. Come on, champ. Come on, champ. Hit him. Fire back, dude. Please. I'll change this to the energy recovery. We'll just do another Hadouken. Since there are top greens. Seemed like the blocking was maybe working better. Not sure. Let me switch that back to a block. Oh wait, living armor. We want that. Oh! Come on, win, champ. Win! A few more hits. Like, two! What? 
go back up. <gasps> we got full health again? That's not fair. What is this second phase nonsense? Put him down, champ. Punch his head off. You got this, buddy. Go. Oh. Seems to be working, kind of. He's doing a lot of damage to you, but you're getting there when you do hit, when you do land. So keep landing. Never give up. Hit him. Oh, energy's super low. I'm gonna need another, take another breather here in between Hadoukens, I think. Probably got crazy buffs too. Attack modifier. The stronger you are, the less effective the enemy's blocks. That sounds good. Um, take the top ones. Chance of dealing double damage. Yes, please. Attack modifiers. Take health from the enemy on every attack. We need that. Go. Come on, champ. Come on, champ. Hit him. There you go. One more. Ah, oh, just one more. Just do it. Swing, buddy. <gasps> oh, that was close. It's a beast. Sit down with a tail. By any means. At any cost. Shut down the program. What if I... Need to pee. Henry will never believe this. Please don't make me fight everyone again. Oh my days. Oh wait. Hey, what's up, Bubba? Frank, you can talk. You can us virtual space. I'm like a fish in water. Okay, that slow down. I'm a little more. Because I'm getting to that blue one. Turn up the balloon. By the way, you know what? I can help you with this further. Try to use the nature hacker trick. What? Try Are you listening to me? I look a dog. You son of a. I don't know what the voice was for that dolphin, by the way. That just kind of came out of me. It's kind of what a dolphin would sound like in my head, I think. Regretting it now. I can help you with this fight, too. Try another Ocean Hacker trick. Hey, listen. Got missed. Got you, Mr. Wizard. Hey, listen. Sims cheat. I guess they're all like famous cheats. Not so fast. That's what happens this time. Oh, we just fight you again? Okay, well, I'll stick with what I had, because that seemed to be working. Potentially. Keep it going, champ. Gonna be that cat. And it's giant robot friend that's in its cause and this is the end. It's been a long road champ. Time to head for the off ramp champ. No, 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 sorry. Win. Oh, right in the robot. Nuts. 
right in the nuts and bolts. Multiple. Second phase, second time. Oof. Hits a lot more this time, but... What has changed? Like, what are you doing? Ah, now you're doing fight fire with fire. Reflecting 25% of the enemy's damage. Increasing damage received by 30%. The more damage the robot suffers, the more often it makes mistakes. Uh, okay. So if you're reflecting all of my damage... and have loads of health but less energy this time, I think I need to switch to exhausting you with a torturer style and just drain the life out of you. So let's do that. And we'll use the vampire technique. Do the death grip on the grappling. That's what we want to do. I want to drain you. Let's see what we got unlocked now. What's the other move for grabbing you? I guess that's the only other one. Okay, so I'm going to grab your punches, is what I'm going to grab. Take a small amount of energy from the enemy on every attack, sure. What else? Reduce energy, break the rhythm. And we'll go... Living Armor. Sponge. Ignore everything under 11. So maybe I can ignore my reflected damage. If it's going to be under 11, actually, maybe I'll do that. And all of everything that gets reflected is ignored. Oh no, it doesn't ignore the reflected stuff. Oh no. Uh, this isn't easy. I think I need to do the one that reduces your... ...things as well. hard to know. I'm probably going to lose here. I'm so far behind on life. You're not even throwing anything, champ. Ah. It's a beast. Furry Darth Vader. Be careful. By any means, shut down that program. What if I actually love cats? I do love cats. Oh man, please don't make me walk through the bosses again. Hey man, uh, you want to do this yourself or we we'll speed up the process? No, finish it. Hold on tight. <laughs> Thank you, dolphin. Here we go again. Let's just fast forward to me beating this thing. Okay, so we're back again. I'm doing okay with getting rid of the energy. I'm going to do numb the pain and take a breather. I'm just going to defend. I'm going to try and drain the last of that energy out of them with my spongy box. We'll see what happens. Got their energy pretty low. I'm hoping I can just really drain it and then just drop them every time, but... No one's throwing any punches. Okay, I need to throw something. Switch that for a Hadouken. Keep 
my energy all the way up if I can. I'm trying not to take too much damage. Okay. Just want to successfully block those, champ. Come on. Yes. Honestly, maybe just switch to the Berserker here and throw the punches. And see if you can do some damage. Please. You threw one punch, champ! In an entire round? What are you doing? You just need to hit him once. Go for the strategy. Come on, throw something. What is he doing? It's a beast, the devil on four paws. What if I want to go home? And fast forward again. Okay, round three. Oh, my days. He has seven health left. Please just punch him and finish this champ, please. Let's go. Is there more? <sighs> What's that? Third phase? Or are you done? Oh my god. Okay, what are you doing now? Evading. So it's the dodging one. With kicks. So I move to the flycatcher, which punishes dodging, right? That is counters dodges. Okay, so we need to change these over to bigger moves. What's that one called? Opponent's next block or dodge will take a lot more energy. Okay, that's a good one to throw out. Maybe start with that one. And damage tolerance. Living armor. reduce much damage but the block's sure to work. Frustrates an enemy's special abilities. Sponge, please. Alright, so I need to do the faint. Reduce enemy dodge chances. Let's do double damage as well, chance of Hey, you want to throw a punch, dude? Throw something. Goodness me. Just standing there and taking it. Nothing's connecting. And he's still got all of that energy. Looks like Flycatcher isn't the one. Hmm. Try the Berserk again, but with a little bit of breathing in the middle. Oh dear. Oh dear, 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 dear. Please, I don't want to do this fight again. I really don't. Um... Move your damage around a little bit. Come on, man. Landing nothing. Really landing nothing. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I don't know other than countering dodges which one we're we supposed to take here. This is crazy. We've done so little damage, I am at a loss. Me. 
maybe this is going to be one where we have to reflect a lot of damage. That's the only thing I can think. Uh, it should be the torturer style. That's all I can think might work here. But we're probably already too low health to do it. So I'll need to come back. It sucks. Jesus. Come on, Champaruni. 50 health. Hit, 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 hit. Please. Throw something. He's got 49. Yes! Please be the last one. Took like four or five goes. Ridiculous. What a surprise. The evening is becoming less tiresome by the minute. That kitty definitely has a bad temper. <laughs> Matrix. That's it, Scratchy. Now you got a problem. You know, the funniest thing. None of this is a problem at all. I was never trying to avoid this confrontation. It was inevitable. And that's not beyond a measure of control. Which, by the way, after all, you're finally here. No more stalling. I'm putting an end to this abomination. Nation, nation. Do you know how many times I've heard you say that? How many times I've seen you standing exactly where you're standing right now? What are you talking about? You've come here to turn off this simulation 117 million times already. As you can see, we're still very much online. I've studied you to the core. I've followed you since you were born. Thanks to that chip that Emmett installed in your mother's head. While I was out having fun with your daddy. <laughs> Why did you do this? Because they didn't feed you. Of course not. Because the medallion. It gave me strength. I'll toy with the planet like a cat ball. But you see... Apparently the medallion can't be taken from its owner without defeating him. And your father. Is hard as hell to boot. Father. It doesn't hurt you. For the last 20 years his entire life has been one never-ending virtual battle. And now nothing can stop me from turning off the simulation and freeing him. And now we come to the most interesting part. He's been in the simulation for so long, he can hardly survive outside of it. In other words, if you turn off the simulation, your father will die. You filthy animal. Well, Bad kitty. That's right, bad kitty. No more total control, got it? No tricks, no twists, no giant robots. No kidnapping my parents. Anybody's parents, any people. And whatever. Do we understand? Only one good kitty's here. This doesn't change anything. I know. But I feel better. I wonder. You're not like the others. You still have to make a difficult choice. Who will, sa will save the whole city or your own father? But if he's in there, then... If I shut it down... Like, you know, if you were in a simulation, you'd want to be set free, wouldn't you? Maybe none of it's real. Turn it off. Unbelievable. Son. Dad. I'm proud of you. Quickly now, let's take this planet's champion and move on. I wanted to stop by Marsburger on the way back. Wait a minute, what the hell's going on here? Watch your tongue, you little Dezogian. Sorry, would you look at this? They broke the medallion. They exhausted their champion and some dastardly cat is up to nefarious deeds. OMG, classic people stuff. Take everyone involved, we'll figure it out along the way. What? The intergalactic tournament is about to start. 
to be continued. Punch Club in space. Punch Club 3. Confirmed. I'd play it. Uh, wow, okay, this had a little bit of pacing issues in the third act, but I loved it up to that point, and then we soldiered on through, and the ending is good. I wonder what happens if you choose your dad. I got a little achievement pop-up that says the right choice, so maybe we made the right decision. That felt like a very rushed ending after the decision, but that was Punch Club. Two, please do hit the like button and subscribe for more indie gaming playthroughs. There are some videos on the screen, and I will see you in the next one. Good night. Thank you for watching if you've made it to this far. I truly appreciate it. You're one of my favorites. See you next time.